All right, here we go. We should be good, I hope. Yep, we had a big update on OBS, the software today, the streaming software, so you never know. Looks like it's coming up okay. All right, I'll let you guys tell me if something's wrong. All right, we're back, and we got some more Indians baseball. I'm excited. Spring training is almost over. We got the new, uh, or we got the regular season starting Thursday. So this is going to be the last MLB The Show stream until Thursday. Uh, we got our Indians here, obviously, and we are going to do the, we'll bring up the calendar here. We're actually playing really good right now. We're 12 and 6. I mean, that's twice as many wins and losses, which is better. And so is the Texas. We're playing 12 and 6 Texas, 12 and 6 uh, Cleveland here. Um, things are going really well. I mean, we're on a five game win streak here. That's a pretty big, every game by one run, but hey, a win's a win. So I'm looking forward to getting started Thursday. I will be streaming Thursday. We're really going to get into things and I'll start running. Doing a little bit more with this, with the clips. I got some of the Major League movie clips to play during certain times, like when Pedro hits a homer or Willie steals a base, that kind of stuff. I got all that lined up and ready for us. But I'm trying to wait for the regular season for that and, and you know, use it uh, properly. So we're going to Texas. This John Gray cat is 0-1 with a 10 innings, 360R ERA, 5 strikeouts. So that's that's not terrible. Uh, Friedman's 1-0, 18 innings, 23 Ks, and his ERA is a 0 0.5. Are you serious? Mitchell Friedman, most people never heard of him, is is pits 18 innings and probably gave up one run, right? I, I guess if you do the math on that, he's given up one run. Holy crap, that's, uh, that's actually really good. Well, I am going to do something here real quick before we start. The roster. There was a couple things I was gonna. Let's go ahead and. Uh, I was gonna change a couple. Some of. Uh, I noticed I did not change some of the cleats on these guys, and I thought it might be a good idea to kind of give them the old school '90s. They actually have the '90s in there. That's super vintage. That's vintage, vintage. We don't want that nonsense. '70s, '80s, '80s to '90s. Yeah, I think we'll give them that, but we're not gonna do. We'll do. Uh, Black there. I feel like straight black. But maybe have a uh, maybe a little white in there. Oh, that's not not what we want either. Actually, I think the other should be white. Something like that. Check the cleats on the players real quick before we get started here. Ah, Rubes looks all right. Yeah, I guess I can look at him right there, huh? I don't need to. Eddie. Yeah, I, I think I did most of them right. But there was a couple I might not. Have. Yeah, let's check. Jake. Jake might need a cleat check. Yeah, that's like that default brand new ones. And, and we need to kind of get them looking like they should be looking. Right there. We'll just we'll switch them on to black real quick. There you go, Jakey. What's up? Oh, yeah, I got them all on there, on there, Trey. You haven't caught one of these streams, dude. Look at that Indians logo I made. That's freaking titty. You can see it down in the bottom right down there too, man. I made it dead on it. Spent some time on this, but yeah, look, Pedro Serrano, Rube Baker, Eddie Harris, Kevin Shoup, Jake Taylor, Roger Dorn, Rick Wild Thing, Vaughn. Like, it got his hair. Look at the look at the man's haircut here. Like, I'm talking like look look at him. Looking freaking dead on. That's is that not Rick Vaughn? <laughs> like the 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 creative player on this is freaking sweet. Like more games need to let us do this right here. If you if most games where you could have a player, which is like ninety percent of games where you're like you know you have a physical person out there, dude. If you could just let us have a little fun with it, it makes the game so much better. 
Dude, this that's it right there though. We got a uh, wild thing. And then uh of course we got uh you said Willie where are you? There he is right there. <laughs> Willie Mays Hayes out there stealing stealing bases. All right, let's get into this here. Let's get into playing next game. So uh we're on a five game win streak. We're going at Texas. And what I've been doing for the spring training is playing the minor league stadiums. Oh, those are home 94. Yeah, we're going to give them those. That's Paul Miro right there. Uh, and, and one thing I did for anybody that might be catching this as a video later or whatever is, you know, the game has a lot of um, legends in the game. And if... They were a legend in the 80s or 90s. I, I Each team gets three to four legends. So the Rangers got Rafael Palmiro, Pudge, you know, Ivan Rodriguez, remember him, Pudgy? They didn't have Juan Gonzalez, man. He was, he was one of my favorite players. Let's play here. Let's go to Iron Horse Stadium. Um... Let's see what they got. Well, we're pitching Friedman. Let's see, I can't. Oh, I can't. They blurred it out on me. I, I can't. Yeah, Pud, I see Ivan Rodriguez. I see Palmiro. I think they had a pitcher as their other legend. I, I don't remember who. It wasn't Nolan Ryan. He went to the Houston Astros. Uh, all right, real quick, let me get a lineup here. We Willie Mays, Tanaka, Dorn, Serrano, Jake, Rube at the DH. Metcalf at first, Reina. We got we got the starting lineup there. That's the that's probably going to be opening day starting lineup right there. So we're gonna go ahead and roll. Everybody's healthy. Everybody's in the green. Nobody's got the frosty anymore. Everybody got some hits and got off of that. Dude, I hate that. I wish we could turn that off. I, I think I need to learn how to turn that off. I don't. I'm not even gonna read them. Skip all is apparently not skipping all. Why, why is there a skip all if it doesn't skip all? Douche canoes. Here we go. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Spring training baseball coming your way. It's the Warriors and the Texas Rangers. Indians, sir. Indians. We got some cars out there. I'm going to hit a truck. Oh, that's Pudge right there. I recognize him. Even we'll got the, the uh, 90s. Right after this. There's Willie. Since we're the away right, team, we'll be batting first here. And our pitcher tonight, Hi, Willie. Greg. What do you have on him? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on pitch. one or two pitches pitch. depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look at hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's going to be able to keep those guys off balance. That's a good pitch. Kicks and deals. Oh. He almost got me upstairs. He's kind of coming after me here, ain't he? Thought it was dropping. What kind of haircut has this guy got? Who does he think he is? He's Viking? Freaking Ragnar Lothbrook on the mound here. This guy had a big time mohawk. Late. 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 Yeah, that's what I thought that strikeout was doing right there. Back up the middle. Oh, what? That's weak. Outstanding job. All right, we even got you know what we're gonna do here for for Pedro. It's spring training, but we're gonna tell look the world bring up. We're gonna bring up Joe Boo. No, no, it's Dorn. My bad. Go away, Joe Boo. You're wrong player. Yeah, Pedro's fourth, not third. I knew that. Two out spaces. We had we had Joe Boo there for no reason. Dorn don't believe. He's not a believer. High in the air, out to check the wind. Garcia settles under it. Pulls it in to end the inning. On to the bottom of the first. No score. Let's 
check the wind real quick. Here's Leody Tavares. No wind? Let me check it again. No, no wind at all. Okay. The pitch. And he takes a strike. Oh, and one. Close one doesn't get the call. One sure. One. Sure, Jan. Right through there for a strike. That's not a break it in. Give you a tricky pitch. If you don't finish it and have that bite at the end, Whoa! it stays out over the plate. He got him. I tagged him. I tagged him. Dude, that was not the normal throw. Take a look at the Rangers lineup. This is a veteran. I don't know why that changed uh, that. Maybe because I was running a little faster than I normally have to. That was weird. <laughs> that throw is usually not like that. The green game changed on me. They've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with oh. and sometimes this one's fair down the line and left. And it's gonna be extra bases. Yep. He starts his afternoon off right with a double. He was all over that one. That was a thing of beauty. Then then after all that you gotta deal with, with Rafael Palmero. Oh actually it's Corey Seager. Next offering is in for a strike. They must be batting Palmero fourth and uh, Pudgy fifth. I would have moved him up. Yeah, back in the 90s, man, when they hit them guys and then they had Juan Gonzalez batting fourth. He was the man. He didn't mess around. Oh, Dorn. All right, well, we better get a dope play. We're about to get a run up here. And then now we do have to deal with Swamero. Rather than just a willingness to go the other way, oh, let the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Nope. Off the mark there. And that's ball two. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Two balls. You ain't kidding. Okay. If we get a strike out here, that'll be a big help. Big help. Let's throw that sinker low and outside. And another ball. Try to keep it down. Touch Rodriguez in the on deck circle for Texas. Dang it. The front of it, Dorn. He is doing that Olay crap. Picks himself up around the eye. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time. Good balanced approach and just blasted it through the infield. Touch Rodriguez in the box now. No balls in a strike. Rounder might be two. They get one. Goes to second. Safe there. That was a productive at bat. You know, at least we got one. Anytime you put your two runners in the scoring position and give your team a chance to drive it. Texas is going to have a pretty good team because they get to keep our Garcia since the legend did not replace his position. And then they got their legends and they got Seager. That's pretty good. Got him. There we go. A lot of adrenaline we can see. What's he doing? Is he upset? Second inning, second That's, now, now we're going to bring up Joe Bullard. Right Pedro Serrano. This is a true Now we're going to go. All right, come on. Very many of them out there, but when Help us out here, Joe Bullard, one time. Come on. Gray, back to work. Oh, and we and popped it up. Right side, Joe Bullard did nothing. Territory. Joe Bullard did nothing. Palmero makes the he, was, he was gone as quick as he came. Out. Here's the catcher, Jake Taylor. Good pitch. One down, base is empty. Off the plate, ball one. That to right. That might drop. Or not. Garcia puts it away. Two down. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got Big a chance Rube. to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. And right back to what? the mound. Tosses the first. Dude, That's Texas got three. some gloves out there. And the freaking After Viking king and making and plays. It's one Rube hit that hard. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here is Marcus Simeon. Oh, and that's outside. outside. And that's ball one. You have to be creative pitching against bad ball hitters. you got to add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding the heart of the plate isn't always going to be enough. Guys like this can hurt you with pitches you wouldn't expect him to swing at. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. One down. Get out of here. But one of the 
the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball as it's coming in to let them know. What pretty good, pretty good. If they see the red dot, it's typically a slider. But when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates, very difficult to determine. And that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there. Just a nasty pitch. Get out of here. Oh. All right, we get some strikeouts here. Two outs, base is empty. Josh Smith stepping in for the Rangers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's in there at the knees. Freeman's actually pretty good in that he's, we can change speeds pretty well with his pitches. I, I like that. Two down, nobody on. Spoils the two strike, strike the side out here. Another. Got him. Backwards K, too. He didn't even try. It's a one, two, three. Yep. Back here with my pal Ooh. Ziggy. And now the first right, base. Metcalf. Metcalf. Derek. Metcalf. Derek. Actually leading the team in home Pitch. runs in spring training here. Oh! Speak of the devil. Oh, all the crowd was like, oh. Dude, he smacked that sign. And we're all square. It's Off the Viking King. He only needed one Number seven. Squared up. Not wasting any time in that. That cast seventh Aggressive of the spring training. Coach is excited. We killed that. Dude, he got every every bit of that. Every bit. How far was it? Oh, he, he hit it over the horse. How far was that? Not telling me. First offering and it just misses. Who'd it hit over the horse? It hit up by that iron. Go back to work. Focus iron. on this next batter. Oh. popped up. Foul ground first base side. We just told Texas we would not go softly into that good night. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter and a tough one at that. Ah. This one in the air. Simeon drifts towards it. Falls Sitting to too low. Go back. Willie Hayes. Hi, right, Willie. Struck Come on, Willie. And his first at bat. Oh, that's that outside. One and oh. The other way. There you go, Willie. Plays out, but it's off his glove. Base hit, and the inning continues. Oh, good God. Yo, that was a great throw. Trying for two. They don't come much oh, closer than man. that bang, bang play to end the inning. Yeah, he. I mean, that was he got. I didn't expect that Except perfect of a throw. Of third, I mean, Willie's got the speed. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I didn't get to finish my sentence before they had a double. Side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. On to first, one gone, bottom of the third. Well, so now it's Corey Seeger. Right side, hard hit. Now two away as they get a run across. Rafael Palmero stepping in for the Rangers. Breaking ball in there for a strike. And they took the lead right back. It's one and one. Didn't even care. And downstairs. Two balls, one strike. That one in for a strike. Looks like he was ready for that. Go back up there. I hit the corner. Swing a high fly ball, deep left field. Uh oh. That ball's carrying. Tattooed and gone. Oh, he was, that was a late jump, man. That was a late reaction to what I said to do. It's 3 1. Man, he just barely got that one out of here. And you've got to I told Tanaka to get up and get it, but he did not. It was late. Look at that. I need a running start anyway. Rodriguez takes low, second trip to the plate in this one. 
Dude, Freeman had given up like one run. His first three games or whatever it's been. 18 innings. He's given up three in this game. And they might do. They're they're like hitting them hard. Around first, digging for two. And that's a two bagger. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle in the other. Texas way. is a fan it's of Freeman. The game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. Oh no 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 no! This ball's gonna get through, and that's a base hit. The throw in, it's off the mark, and he scores. Comes through with the RBI. He couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up. The well, his uh, 0 0.50 ERA is now done. There's just no chance for the infielders with how hard Oops. he was. that one. Bring his in for a strike. Garcia, the runner at first with two goals. Oh, and then we hit him. And that got him pretty flush. Shut up. You scoped first base. And he hit him. You know what I'm trying to do on purpose? There had two strikes on him. He's trying to get out of the inning. He's going to hit you down four to one with a man on. Bounce to the right nope. side. Foul ball. And foul ball. Two on, two outs. Foul ball still a one and two count. Off the plate, they'll do it again. Dang. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98. But a really good swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strike. That was a terrible inning. And we're back as we go to the top of the fourth. Terrible. Now at the plate, Ichiro Tanaka. And a pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. He's throwing strikes. Look at that. Two fastballs. Check. I'm safe. Swing of the 0 2, appeal to first. No swing. And now it's 1 and 2. In the air, left field, Carter sizes this one up. And there's Sounded a good. Looked good. Wasn't good. What was my timing on that? The third baseman, number 24. Good. Look at that. I smacked it, man. I don't know. I feel like that might have done a little bit better than that. Oh, that's a good pitch. Yo, I thought that was dropping, and it did not. That was a high fastball. It just stayed up there. Early in the count and swing it stupid. Off, and if you want to score some runs, have an offensive explosion, that can be a route to doing it. One down, base is empty. Misses the zone, and he gets Running out, Dorn. He's there. He's going to get there. Oh, and then I remember and there's, there's Pudge. The oh, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike. And that just Come on, Pedro. Defensive hitters can be calm when they're up against an 0 2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to. But right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. I really thought he was dropping that. And that's in for a strike. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Low. The Rangers He's probably going to stay by three, Top half of inning number four. There you go. Pedro crushed that one. All right, Jake. Well, that'll make you feel good no, as a hitter no. right there. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it's pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit hey. velocity? This time, 106. Taylor stands 106? and watches Pretty strike good. one. And that one hammered Carter, ranging back. Get out of here. Oh, man. We had a couple good uh, good hits. And we just ain't doing anything with it. Here's the third baseman, Josh Smith. 
He swings and fouls one off. Well, these Rangers doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Pitch count is pretty high. And it got started a little bit earlier than usual. Not too much. So I think it's safe to say a little bit, but I guess that uh, most well of the regulars are not here yet. I guess they are. In the box here, lets that one go for a ball. Not ready yet. Right there, there we go. So come on, come on, come on. Put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs. Oh, hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. Base is empty, one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Good pitch. Swings and misses, oh. struck him out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. Oh, so oh, right, the pitcher oh, had him oh, out in front of that pitch. Oh, Clearly he had him fooled. Oh, Ripped to oh, short. Whips it to first, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing for the Rangers. We need Ru Rube to step up here. Stepping in the long ball. He's due. Rube Baker. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck, Tavares. Ranger and we're playing warning track ball with these punks. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. He turned his back. On the infield, got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Metcalf. Batting for the second time, and that's strike one. These hitters are going to have to find a way to be a little more patient, see more pitches per at bat. Otherwise, that bullpen's not going to have to work over there, and it's going to be advantage pitching all game long. We're hitting the ball. That one hit to right. Not too much to have to say for you. Horse for this one. Makes a nice running catch. And a couple of quick outs. And down the shortstop, Jose Reno. He's over one. Oh. I was going to let that first pitch go, and then he just threw it right down the freaking middle. A little high. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Over 325 in his last 10 games. Two outs. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. I'm seeing the ball pretty well from this pitcher, actually. And we're getting hits. That's like our fourth, fifth hit here. Fastball down and in. Good spot. We just ain't doing anything ball, with him. That one had eyes. I went down and got and that one. First, Mike Larson. Now at the plate. That one missed. Come on, Larson. Reno off the of first with two away. Set things on fire here. That one ripped right. That's a shot. Tavares going back. Oh, off the wall. Coming home. Got us a run in. Scores, and now just a there we go. Deficit. That was a good double. He crushed that off the wall. leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Twink. It's like a legitimate wooden wall, too. That thing's old as crap. Here's the center fielder, Willie Hayes. One for two. And a foul ball. Come on, Wheelie. Base hits probably another the round. Right deals. Whoa. But that one almost got him. Straight Dude, if somebody gets hurt in spring training, I'm going to be so upset. We, don't, we can't really down. afford that. The top of the fifth. Here's a high chopper. Smith. Running out, Wheelie. First on the run. <laughs> that ends the inning. And stops What's up, dude? from getting out of hand. But a run Larson smacked that one off the on wall. RBI double. It's now 4-2. Fantastic hit right there. There's majority. There you guys. Starting to file in. The pitch. You should. That one inside. No, in the first inning. No, second inning. A member of the 1,000. Dude, Matt Metcalf hit the crate. We'll look at it in the highlights at the end, dude. Metcalf hit an absolute bomb of a home run. He hit. Let me show you. One ball. I'll just go replay. Well, I can't. Okay, Wait, I'll show you in two in a second. And down on strikes he goes. Picks up strikes. See, left, see that left field wall over there? He hit the red and iron horse on the left. That's what he hit it off of. Oh, look at Dorn. Slings it across, two up, two down. And here is we got uh, our, our, our win streaks on the line here, though. Metcalf 
Steps on the bag. We're down four to two early. Rangers go down quickly there, but they still lead this one four to five two. hits. They're seven. They're hitting the ball hard. We're back, and they make a change to start the six. All right, Tanaka. Yeah, see Iron Horse. Metcalf hit the Iron Horse, like the red uh, up there in the red above him. Late in the ball game, some of them are just wired different. So we'll see what's ah. here. And that one fouled off. Well, these players, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to There we go. There we go. All right, here's Dorn. Get a base hit. Let's get a base hit. There's Jimmy. How you doing, Jimmy? All right, come on, Dorn. Number 24. Let's get a hit here. Bring Pedro up. Good pitch. With the perfect pitch, really. The plate, and we're the top half of the sixth. Ooh. And a miss, and he was Some activity in the bullpen. He's got a little bit of everything, too, in his arsenal now. Here's to be getting ready for Bruce Bochy. Number 41, also throwing. Oh, good pitch. All right, it's spring training, but but we're going to try to bring Joe Boo in here. Here we got Joe Boo up for us. Come on. Come on, Joe Boo. With two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Serrano, the next to hit, takes ball one. Man at first, one away. <laughs> that just slid way on out there. Made us look silly. If you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. All right, Joe Boo. Scherzer ahead one and two. Swing and a pop up. I went up and got it, and it did not help. All right, get out of here, Joe Boo. You can't. Right there to make the grab. And there's two down. Got the pitch that he wanted no, just no, a little no. bit quick. Yeah, front shoulder open. Oh, man, we barely Back missed that. Oh, we hit the end of the bat. Angle, That's why, because I was early. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. You see, I actually put Joe Boo up on the screen Tanaka, there. Off of first with two away. Uh oh, watch out. Nah, Jake said, ah! <laughs> All right, that's two on. Come on, Rube. Come on, Rube. Here we go. We got a chance here. A chance to do something. Let's hit another one off that iron horse sign up there. Nope. I got to let it go. I said nope, and then I swung like an idiot. Come on, Rube. Send you back to Nebraska. Good pitch. Good pitch. Good pitch, man. Good pitch. All right. Got to protect. Two outs. One, two count. We got two on. Come on. Oh, wow. That's slurr. I think that's the first time he threw that. Back here with my pal Siggy, and now the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a pop-up foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. At the belt and finals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Kicks and fires. Lined, and that's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Bummer. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Oh, nice job. Oh, I forgot the lock to do it you know, yeah, yeah. They take so many reps in the game, just working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Simeon in the box again, takes a strike. 
Good double play here. Marcus, a career high 45 homers in get, get him on a low changeup. With the Blue Jays, he parlayed that into a seven-year free agent deal with the Rangers. Rudder at first with no outs here. Swing and a high fly yeah. ball to left. Take it. Tanaka under it. Puts it away for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Young, that a good one down, takes a strike. Oh, no. And this one could be no. Garcia around second, headed for third. Headed for the plate. He'll score easily, and they lead by three. Man, not looking good. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking good. Joey Cantillo gets the call from the pen. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Yeah, well, nobody knows who you are, so. One run across in the frame so far here in the bottom of the sixth. They got a runner on base there. Uh, on the right side. And he handles it himself. All right, well, that's two outs. We can't let him get a hit. We can't have, if they score six, I don't know where we're gonna make that. I mean I don't think I don't know we're making this come back right now. But. Stepping in for the Rangers. That they got in is pretty zone. decent. Yeah, that's ball one. Well, that's right. They'll be changing it, so I'm gonna have to figure out a new pitcher. Young on third with two out. On the ground to the left. On the run, throw to first. That ends the inning. And then All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Rangers get one on the RBI. Nobody cares about Josh Jung. Okay, that guy's got an American first name and a, an Asian last name. But you figure out who you are. Okay, a little identity crisis there, Josh Jung. Metcalf, I'm telling you, man, that bomb he hit was one of the biggest ones we've ever hit. In this game. Oh, dude, that's a crazy 12 curve. We may not see that again. Or we could see it the next pitch. Definitely a possibility. Holy crap. Come on, Metcalf. Chases in the dirt, slider there. He, he, he messed me up. He didn't throw us anything. And that completes the strikeout. Came after a wet cap. Ah. I swung and it hit me. I'm on it, though. I'm, I'm on the pitches. I like that I'm not super late. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get oh, good pitch. Good ball. pitch, man. This guy's on it. And there's two away. Two outs, bases. Uh, Larson had a, a great RBI base. double last night. Mike Larson. And a and he had a terrible uh, foul, uh, foul out right here. Palmero makes the catch. Shoot, and we're running out of time. Welcome back as we have a pinch hitter to lead it off. Ezekiel Duran. Well, with his speed, he can really make some things happen leading off. Foul ball there. Now the one. That one at the knees for a strike. Have one at the knees, please. Hard hit, right side. Tosses to first. And one away. We started off pretty promising. Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter. Justin Foscu. Oh, we seen the ball. We were hitting the ball. Strike. Metcalf hit a bomb. We never could put anything together. We couldn't make our hits in the in the our, uh, in the runs. Goes down Killing, me smalls. Killing me, Smalls. So how was your guys' day today? We know how we know how Jimmy's went. Strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds. They're looking Whoa. for one. You tried to kill third base coach on that one. Pitch selection to go with. Foul ball, another Ooh. two two upcoming. That got hung. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Oh, oh, oh. 
Did you see the dude dive off the bench? That was pretty good. That was pretty good they put that animation because he dove just like he needed to. Spoils that one and it he almost got crushed. That was funny. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea. Rangers go down in Two, three, go the oh, this is it, guys. We, we got to do two. something here. We, it's eighth inning. We're down by three. We don't need to get all three in the ninth, so we need a run. Run or two right now. Durant. Help us out. Top of the, the top of the order here. And Come on, Willie. Willie Come on, Willie. We need you. No, that's a good pitch. That's a good pitch. A good pitch. We got to let it go. We got to let it go, Willie. Got to let it go. And look for that, that movement in it. There you go, Willie. There you go. Good stuff, good stuff, Wheelie. Now the number two hitter, Ichiro Tanaka, one for three. Good pitch. Rodriguez, in his rookie season, he features a four seam fastball, a slider. A sinker, and he works in a changeup. Move over to first. He might do a pitch close. out this time. He might pitch out. I'm not going to steal. And a pitch. Oh, come on with it. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. you got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Safe. There we go. See how we play something like that. See, we had it. Oh, we killed it. Come on, Willie. That was perfect. Look at that. Crushed it. That was perfect. I thought he was going to get caught there for a minute because it's Pudge. He just stole on Pudge. There's a swing and a miss. Oh, that was like leading by three. That was a screwball. Like that, that went in. Mm. Dude, this guy's pretty good at changing speeds on me here. That was an 83. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Wow. And there's two down. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tall. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good game. Now, here is... I like to... I do a hybrid presentation, which is like half broadcast, half like video game, you know? All right, Pedro. Come on, Pedro. Nah, hold on. We're going we're gonna to have to bring out Joe Boo on this. Come on. All right, Joe Boo's out there with us. We need it. This is our last chance pretty much right here, Pedro. We got a runner on. If he could hit a dong right here. Ah! This guy is like, he's tricky. He's changing speeds, but he, he he's accurate. No! Oh, he almost hit Joe Boo down there. Come on, Pedro. Got him swinging. Get out of here, Joe Boo. You did nothing. No runs here on a base Please. Hit, no errors, and one left. Nothing. Hold half of inning number eight straight ahead. Bottom eight. Welcome back eight. as we've got a pinch hitter. Eight. Sam Hoff. Number 55. Sam Hoff. The new pitcher in the game, Eli Morgan. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for... 6.1 innings pitched, a zero ERA. Keep the score right where it is. And here it comes. On its way to the about to change. Uh-oh. Oh, Pedro diving for it. He didn't make it. <laughs> Pedro didn't make it. Came up about 20 feet short. Throws to first. And a quick out number one. Now that now really being really made for a pinch so we, we're going to have to make up three runs. Uh, well, may, or more. Hopefully hopefully not. But Well, watch out. Woo. We're going to have to make up three runs in the ninth, man. That's going to be tough when you ain't even scored three runs the entire game. Oh, Dorn. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's got a pinch hit double. Show the 
willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to Ooh, good pitch. let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base. Good pitch. And there's a strike. Three ball drops in. Let's get him. Out the runner at second here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Yeah. That was a bad pitch. That's not what he's supposed to do. Oh, oh, and they're not going to give me that? They called that crap on me? Look at that. Look at pitch number uh, five or whatever that is. That's deep in the zone. Man, it's second. On the ground to third. And that one handled. Whips it across. Oh, Dorn almost oh, waited too late. That was close. Oh. First baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mitt. Next, it'll be the Texas DH, Josh Young. Oh, he just killed somebody. That was that was their first and last game right there. On its second with two down. Oh, and two now as he swings through it. Josh Young. He like got down and got up and before the ball even got there. And that's in the dirt. That was a good pitch. That's what I was trying to do. That was a perfect pitch, but he didn't bite. Up the middle, Reina on the run sends it over to first. Good play. And that is the inning. Man, how many hits we got here? I feel like we got seven or eight. We got seven hits. Only two runs. I'm telling you, that Metcalf home run was beautiful. But uh, other than that, we ain't done so much. Remaining in the game defensively, Sam Huff. He takes over behind the plate to do the catching after entering the game as a pitcher. Come on, Jake. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jake Taylor. And a strike in there. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. I'll tell you what. These these Ranger pitchers, they come after you. I've been taking pitches. I'm trying to take the first pitch. Be patient. You can't be patient because they're throwing a strike every pitch. Oh, not that time, though. Good pitch. Good pitch. I don't even know how I got the bat on, to be honest. I barely yeah, touched that. Good pitch. See, they get two strikes on you, then they start playing stupid. You know, then, then they start throwing the nonsense, and it's too late. Like, you pretty much have to go out there swinging first pitch. Out there to center. Tavares settles under it. He hung a slider, and that's what we do to it. And there are two down. So they're down to their final out. And here's the first baseman, Derek Metcalf. He's already homered in this game. This is it. About to lose the streak. Just missed. About to lose the streak. All right, well, be impatient here. Be impatient. Come on, Metcalf. Two down, nobody on. Now, Look at that. Down towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. In safely. It's a double. And his second hit. Two hits for him in this one. Both were extra bases. Got to feel good. A homer and a, and a, and a double. Look at that, though. I mean, it don't get any better than that. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the All right, Reyna. So, man aboard. Now it's the shortstop, Jose Reina. Good pitch. Swing a miss. Ugly swing right there. Good, good pitch. Two outs and one in scoring position. Hard ground ball base now. Mitchell around third. He will Five to three. And it's now a two run. I like that we scored in the ninth it's inning, though. I like that we scored in the ninth inning. Able to shoot the ball up the middle, didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. <laughs> Mike Larson digs in now. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. There's a strike, 95 of that. So you can't be patient. You can't do it. Next pitch misses way You got to try to be smart, but you can't, you know. The, they, these pitchers, man, they're they're on it. Oh, drop, 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 drop. Yo, we got a chance here. We, hey, it's up to Willie. We we gonna go and try to get something going here. We got the. Come on. Let's go. Open up. 
Come on, join in wherever you are out there. We got a chance. If Willie gets a hit, we might be able to do something. Oh, get through. Oh! He crushed it, too. That was a good line drive. Was a little, if that was about a foot or two farther to the left, at least it would have made him dive for it. Ah, it's over. What's up, honey boy? That was turned out to be a really good game. Look at that, 10 hits apiece. It just, we, they converted more of the, uh, of the runners than we did, you know? And look at that. They were making plays like that all day. And I'm pretty sure they had no home. Look at our home run. Look where this thing hits. Look at that. Boom. It hit up in the red. I take that back. Palmiro hit one. Yeah, that's right. He did. He did that. That was a latest crap jump. I don't know what happened there. I want, I want to see uh, replay ball. I, do want to, I want to look at that... Uh, we're going to go uh, Indians and give me the home runs. 443. That's our biggest home run, I reckon. I hate how these controls are reversed. Can I, like, fix them? But seriously, look, look at this home run. Smack. Oh, it did actually hit under the red, didn't it? Okay, so it hit in a... Right between the T and the A. Who doesn't love good T and A? I know I do. That's a shot. Dude, that might have made... Oh, look, there's like a dirt bike track out there. That's freaking sweet. Look at that dirt bike track over there. That's pretty cool. Good parking lot. They did a great job on this. Look at, look at that. There, I see stores. Dude, I bet Jimmy's over there. Jimmy's over there in the uh, in one of them uh, little mini marts. I, I bet trying to trying to find auto parts. Yeah, that was a good shot right there. This is actually a a nice little minor league slash um, spring training stadium. Boom. But we lost, so meh. Streak is over. Palmero went two for three. Adult toys. MD, are, are you steak or no? Because I know he said he was going to show up today. Well... Play Cubbies. We're home. Play a home game against the Cubbies here. That's what I, that's what I figured. I figured, I figured. But yeah, this is a great game, man. You know, I didn't. I haven't played MLB The Show since 2021, and I didn't really play that one at all. I played a little bit of Diamond Dynasty. That's it. It was really 2020, so I'm, I took four years off of this game. Uh, back now, and see Diamond Dynasty. I just don't have the time to do that. So I came up with this idea. Because now I can just play games for fun. It's offline. I don't need to spend money on the game. I don't need to grind. I don't need to do any of that stuff. It's uh, uh, just me, right, offline. And uh, time to do it here. Because I'm, I'm pretty busy working on Mystery Kink. We almost got all the levels done. Uh, our legs only got a couple more left. And then programming is being done. The girls are coming in. Probably in May to record that. We got a Kickstarter coming up. I got all kinds of stuff. Get a summer trying to get this game released towards in the fall. Mm. All right, so the Cubbies are 10 and 10. 500. We're 12 and 7. Now keep in mind, this is spring training. And they take their players out early, about halfway through the game, and they go with a different pitcher every single inning after the fourth. So these records don't really mean much. Now the Cubbies, uh, they got Sammy Sosa, Andre Dawson, Cliff Lee, I think it was. Was it Cliff Lee? I think it was. And um, they, they actually won. The, they're one of the few teams that got four because they had four 80s, 90s legends in the game. 
Um, let me think, who's the other one? It's a pitcher, Sutton. I think Don Sutton, maybe. Oh, look at them roads. Look at those 94 roads. Yes, sir. Those look beautiful. All right. Lindbergh is up. We got Willie. I think, I think we're going to keep it all the same. We're going to keep it all the same here. No reason to change it up at this point when they're all healthy. Because I'm trying to get used to them. You know, I'm trying. I, I need to turn out. I, I need to know how to turn that off. I don't really care what you have to say, game. All right, here we go. Here we go. And welcome into the ballpark. Yeah, this next game, man. If you like Leisure Suit Larry, you're going to love what I'm doing in this next game, man. It's freaking hilarious. And the girls are super digging it. These lines and the scenes and some of the good stuff we're gonna do in this game. First pitch coming at you right after the. There's break. Willie. All right. Dansby Swanson stands in. Dansby Swanson. Oh come on! And now maybe extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Throws to second, and it's a double to start the game. First pitch of the ga game. This guy goes extra bases on me. You rip a line drive the other way. You feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. You let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. On the ground. Dorn's got that one. Sends it across the first. All right. The top of the first. Let's see what kind of lineup we're dealing. I think we see who, who's up now. Here's a look at the lineup. Swanson, oh Sandberg, that's who it was. Look at that, look at that lineup. Sandberg, Sosa, Dawson. All's we're missing is Harry Carey. Hi everybody. <laughs> I used to love me some Harry Carey, man. WGN, evenings in the 90s watching the Harry Carey call a Cubs game. Oh. Dude, me and my friends in high school, we would get together and just watch Cub games. Like, oh. Get it home, Pedro. Get it home. Nope, he's quick. Where's, where's Jake going? I was holding down to, like, do the tag. He ran Man. Giving up runs early. Oh, did you see what just happened? Lord. At the corners after a one out single, and he went to second. And into second with one away. That's we out there not looking like the three stooges right now. Whoop, 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 whoop. Sammy Andre Dawson, the next day. and then you got to deal with Andre. You know, the Cubs are going to be a team to beat in Sweet. the National League. The I'm telling you, I wasn't allowed to turn off interleague play. That oh no, okay, here we go. let's go three. I wasn't allowed to turn off interleague play, um, you know, to, to, to make it like the 90s were, but I was able to turn the, the uh, DH off for the National League, which is nice. So when we do go to the National League, our pitcher will have to hit because that's how it should be. That's normal baseball. Ah! Dude, the Cubs are killing us. It's three nothing. Oh, look at Dorn. Make a play, Dorn. There we go. That was a good play. Dude, his feet was up in the air. His cleats was kissing the gates of heaven. It was like right up, straight up. All right, Willie, we need you. <laughs> we need you on base, Willie, right now. It's a good pitch. It's a good pitch. I need to get the timing down here on him. You know. Nope. Well, after runs, this is where that was 93. That, that was the sinker. Good pitch. Oh, no. That might drop. That might drop. 
Oh, Sandberg is a, a white man, 88 years old. He ain't going to make that run out there. Already they find themselves down three runs in this game, so there's work to be done. Yeah, you want to see them come out with a little urgency here. You don't have to... I'm a little surprised he was able to get out there. something up on the board. That'll make you feel a little bit better about your opportunities, but... If you're looking at that three run lead and saying, I'm glad they didn't have Mark Grace because that would have given me a tough decision a who, who I wouldn't have put so on the team. Trust the process, trust that your pitcher can hold them right Hey, there's Natalie. These we missed you yesterday. Back in this ball game. Number 24 stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. And that's outside. He's been raking in recent How's the uh, house things in Atlanta meatballs? Why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. The pitch. Man, if I let that go, it's 3-0, and but I thought for sure. You know, when it's 2-0, and you really think you're going to get something to hit. The pitch. That was a strike. Come on, Dorn. The line of the pitch. Down on strikes, and it's a three up, three down inning. <sighs> Top of the second, and here's the catcher, Jan Gomes. Oh. That's a little bit low. Fleming, a 6'6 six, six righty, 205 pounds, and he was a second round pick in 2023. Check oh. swing. No appeal. Two balls oh, man. Singing I want to see the appeal on that. First, got hit around a little bit. Just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the pitch. Good pitch. Yeah, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's Good pitch. I like those jerseys. I got to admit, man, those, those with the cursive sometimes cub on it, those are nice. Being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. That one uh -oh. drilled left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. And the batter will be the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. And that's in there. There we go. Yeah, screw this guy. He started the game off with a double in the first pitch of the game. It was that was disrespectful. Hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. Way out front for strike two. There we go. Metcalf's got it. All right, much better inning there. Much better. And Swanson is set down. And that is that. We need to get things rolling. We need three to get it rolling. The Cubs, but they get, uh, let's get a little help from Joe Boo. See, look, Natalie, we actually have Joe Boo on the screen. Now, look, he's going to come up. Boof. <laughs> There's Joe Boo. Need a little help hey, here. You saw him watch Major yeah, League, Natalie. You don't two. understand it yet. Here's See? Until you watch Major League, the movie, you're not going to understand these things. But when you watch it, uh, it's going to be a thing of beauty. The lefty fires. Oh, there you go. No, no. Oh, dang it. Get out of here, Joe Blue. Thought we had something. Into the bat. That's why. I didn't move over to the right enough. Good pitch. I did not do what I thought. I thought he was going to throw me like a slur or something. Slider. Uh oh. Oh, he's going out there by uh, Aloha Joes. That better not get caught. Oh. The catch, and there's two down. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and that wasn't able to stay close. Two outs, space is empty. Now it's the DH, Rube Baker. That one down the line. Oh. Goes just foul. Just. Foul. He kind of sounded like Bob Uecker right foul. there. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. In time to push. I believe if I remember correctly, Sandberg went like five seasons without an error, which is insane. Like, he did not have a throwing error. And, like, I can't remember how many hundreds of throws it was. I don't know if it's still the record or not, but it was impressive, whatever it was. Sandberg just don't, he doesn't do any wrong out there. And there he is. Swing and a miss, strike one. 
Well, he's behind that, though. One, I'm going to keep the heat. Come on, Dorn. You got him. You got him. Oh, Dorn, Lord. Thought Dorn was trying to give a kid a souvenir there for a minute. To the play. That one's in there. That's strike one. one. And a foul ball. Oh, Sosa's looking at the snack shack. Yeah. Oh, I tried to throw some trash. He didn't go for it. Oh, good call. Nothing happening. Good call. But they lead it three nothing. Can we get a hit one time? And we're back. And now here is Derek Metcalf. Come on. Steel back to work. Line drive. Come on. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove. Dude, we're we're hitting the ball. I don't even know that we have a strikeout, do we? We might have one, but we're hitting the ball. We just ain't got a hit. Not in your control. Jose Reina at the plate now as he chases after that one. The shortstop takes the ball. That was a good pitch. Swing and a miss. It's a ball, ball and two strikes. Two strikes. Good pitch. That went right on by him. On the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. Oh. This umpire, I don't know what to think about him. Dude, look, that was inside his all get out. There ain't, that was not a strike. It was not a strike. But look at it down there. That's not a strike. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Well, they just retired the side. I mean, uh, the, the uh, like... All nine batters. We don't. We don't have a hit yet. Oh, but that's a ball. That's a. They just struck me out on one that barely, just barely touched that line. The entire ball's in a strike zone. This umpire is from Chicago. Fly ball to right. Oh, I almost messed that up. I almost messed that up. We got we got a Chicago native behind the uh, plate here. Clearly, some bull crap. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He called what? Dude, oh, look, he called that a ball. I'm like getting closer to the TV to understand. He caught, look at this. Can you guys see that? Zoom in. He caught the entire balls in the strike zone. All of it. What's this guy smoking? And a pitch. Strike one. One ball, one strike. High fly ball, shallow right field. Two down. He's robbing me. Here's Jan Gomes. And the nope. first we got them referees from Remember the Titans. <laughs> right through there for a strike. The one one. That clips the corner. And then he called that a strike. I guess he made up for it a little bit. He hears me talking. He's afraid he's gonna get fired. And the count is two and two. Freaking Angel Hernandez. Yon Gomes waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that'll do it. One left for the Cubs. They're on top by a count of three to nothing. All right, let's see if we can't get a base hit on the second time through here. Bottom four. And now here's the Bill, Willie's batting 243 in spring training. Could be better. So lefty gets to work. That's a ball, sir. Thank you. You know, this group of hitters just haven't produced as many competitive at bats as I'd like to see in this one. They're swinging early, being aggressive. Oh, man. If Willie gets that fair, that's triple. That's not going to cut That's a triple. not resulting in hits. So they might want to be a little more selective up there. Fly ball down the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Big old linky. Linky, linky. 
Andre Dawson. So where did they put Sammy then? Left? Headed towards the corner. Dawson towards the line, looking up, makes a one-handed catch. No, they must have put Sammy in center. Because white, uh, there was a white dude out and left. But was determined to make that catch and a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. Number 24 in the box now. No balls in a strike. And a pop-up right side foul territory. Holy crap. Well, the good news is it's spring training, so they're going to take their pitcher out because he has just thrown a perfect to the game against the us. And now the first baseman, Michael Bush, on the ground out to short. That's four innings of perfect ball. One up, one down. Perfect. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. Fires over to first, and Swanson is set down. Dude, that could have been a three-pitch inning. If that dude would have hit that ball and got an out, that was a three-pitch inning. We ain't done that before, I don't think. Got him. Oh. Uh, and he hits a ground ball right side. Metcalf. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Yeah. All right, Joe Boo. Come on. They took the pitcher out, right? Oh, they left him in. Come on, Joe Boo. Oh, good pitch. I knew I was right on it, like, vertically, but. inches. 30 years old now, and he's driven in eight runs over his last 10 games. One and one. Come on. Give us the power. Give us the power. The pitch. Knocks that one away and we'll do it. Hanging in there for now. Hanging in there. Hanging in there. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Oh, good pitch. Well, he almost got me. He went up the ladder on me there. That was close. He almost threw it right by me. Come on, Joe Boo. Oh. Ace pitch of the at bat here. And he deals. Now fly ball to right center. Morrell on the move. Makes the catch for the out. Well, I mean, it was a good at bat. Oof. But uh, we didn't get anything out of it other than to make him throw a bunch of pitches, but he's coming out anyway. And that's downstairs and outside. Come on, Jake. You know what? Let's let's take a little bit here. I'm going to take this pitch, too. Just Well, that was terrible. I took that no matter what. See, I mean, even if we get a walk, at least the perfect game is going. Okay. There you go, Jake. Come on, Jake. Take the walk. Take the walk, Jake. Ah. Okay, there it is. Perfect game's over. Do you think you could draw Still don't have a hit yet, but perfect game is over. Rube. Uh, Rube's about to make it 3-2. to two. they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw one. Oh, one Baker, no the next to hit, takes outside. Maybe losing command a little bit after the wall. Next pitch, not even close. Oh, that misses. Now 2-0. Oh. It's 2-0. Oh. Taylor leads off first with one away. Good pitch. All right. So what we got here? All right, 2-2. Two, two. 
now. There we go. First hit of the game. Ripped it in the left. That was a good hit. He was all over that one. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, ripped it into the outfield. Yep, that was a perfect shot right between third and short. No chance. So first and second with one man gone. Dude, Metcalf could full round and tie this up. Check. Oh, man, they said I went. He would probably have caught a strike anyway. It don't matter. Check. Like a case of deciding to swing no matter what. That's case of the Moonbeams. Come on, Matt Cap, there's a high heat sign in left. That's lonely. And a high heat saw sign wants to play with the ball. Alright, it's 2-2. Two -two. Coming back here. Make him throw us something. Two on, one out. Still two and two to right. the foul ball. And now the lefty. Oh, the oh run it out. That's a double play. Off balance feed. There's one. Oh, they slid into uh, to Sandberg, though. Did you see that? That dude freaking cleated his, his kneecap. I think he ripped his ACL. <laughs> Watch, look, it looked like he slid right into his knee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he hit him good. He hit him good. Good job. That's that's the way we play baseball right there. It's like, hey, we may not beat you, but you'll know you played us. You know, there, there's more to it than just winning the game. Make the other team freaking feel it. Dude, when I used to play NHL, remember that majority? Jimmy, I used to play... Uh, well, that, that stopped on the tarp. That was kind of cool. I used to play NHL. And we'd get in those games where I was at one point just trying to hurt the other team. Goals were like a, a second, it was like a side quest. And scoring was secondary. Not allowing them to field a team was primary. Two down, nobody on. And we're the top half of the sixth. Swing and a miss as he was late. Out towards right center field. Hayes on his way over. And that is that. Nothing across here this half. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the six. All right. Let's get something going here. Yep, new pitcher. New pitcher. And this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. And that one fouled off. We went to the snack uh, snack shack too. Oh, what? That looked like that was going by him. Come on, Larson. First pitch misses. The Cubs bullpen with some we can't get any. We can't get any going. Up and throwing for manager Craig Council. Number 51 getting loose as well. There we go. Good hit. Good hit. And that turns the lineup over. All right, if Wilding can get on, then we got we got the beef for the order coming there. We got some meat. Is the speedy Willie Hayes. Miss. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right they got here. That double play death then, obviously. Uh, you know, at the very least, if you could find Open a way the holes up a little bit. From first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. When are we ready? That one the other way makes the grab for the second half. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Ah. First offering is fouled off.
two outs. You go first. I forget who that is. That's Larson. Gets a piece and it stays 0 and 2. Larson. Yeah, he can't Off score from first. first from away. Think, but. Hang it in there. Hendricks throws over. Hey. Larson back in standing. Where's the pitch count and all that? Why's it going? Righty delivers. Ooh. Now ball still 0 -2. He's living low, ain't he? Not until the pitch count and all that. I don't, I don't know why that's not available anymore. Swing and a miss struck him out. Back now as it'll be a pinch hitter to lead off. <laughs> Cody Bellinger. <laughs> Number 24. Cody Bellinger. The pitch. And he pumps it a strike. Doug, after watching the first inning of this one, you would not have expected oh, Jake. That this pitcher would be in such a groove and still in the ball game at this point. Ha ha! Gave him a trash pitch. That's why you do that. You just hope that they swing at it because they can't hit it. You've got a lot of plate to cover. And you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. Next offering is in for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Round ball right side. Tell you what, we had a terrible first inning, but Lindbergh really settled down, didn't he? He just pitched seven innings. He's done now. I mean, we'll take him out. But that was, I mean, he's had a good game. He's had a good game other than the first inning. He got tore up. They started off strong. And then we, he settled in. I mean, I guess that's something. He was late. <sighs> right handed reliever. Check. Check. I knew that wasn't coming down, but like he said, I already committed. I, I, I tried to stop it and I couldn't. Ooh. That was a nasty sinker. I mean, it stayed high, but the way it had that movement on it, I had no chance. You want to be able to adjust oh. on 0 and 2. And All right, Pedro, come on. Up when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. All right, grounder into the There's a hit from Pedro. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. All over that one right there. I really yeah. like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the end zone. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me. I didn't even like lead off. It's a field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And here is Jake Taylor. The other way. Go. And it stays fair. Go. Oh, Pedro was sliding back. Get He's in there. Ooh. Pedro, like, slid back automatically. He thought it was going to be caught. He able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep, so... Pretty incredible hands to fight. Good hit. Look at that hit. Now let's see if they can string something together. Make it a little more interesting. Well, we got a chance here. Come on, Rube. Come on, Rube. Oh! Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. That's a good one. There we go. Tied it up. Rube with one swing in the back. Good stuff. It's only spring training, but it feels good. It feels it feels good to do what you're supposed to do out there. Rube killed it. Four twenty. Out there into the freaking trees. Number forty-eight into the game. 
Oh, they brought a new pitcher in too. They said, yep, that is enough of that. That was awesome. That felt good. He's got everything, man. Four seam fastball, slider, 12 six curve, sinker, circle change, kitchen sink, whores. Like this guy, if you need it, he's got it. You need crack, he's got it. I mean, this is crazy. Check. Oh, I did not check. That's foul. That's foul ball. Foul ball. And foul territory. Already three runs across in the frame. Here, the bottom of the seventh. Oh, good pitch. 95 mile an hour sinker, man. That thing just stayed down there. That's a pretty pitcher. Gomes to first. Out on the drop third strike. Two gone. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he could hit Reina, but I don't I think he's gonna be caught. Yep. Ah, that ends the end Tied it up three to three. But this clutch Rude. gets us even again. We're tied now with three apiece. He got all that one. He was and I was afraid because it was going to center field, wasn't gonna make it. But that had super back. distance. And now the first baseman, Michael Bush, the right-hander back to work. I threw that on his ball on purpose. I need to take him out. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. Let's it's bring in the bush. In the lineup. You can't be afraid of bring it in the bush. Logan Bush. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Come on, Bush. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. One ball, two strikes. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Great counsel going with a pinch hitter here. Mike Tockman. And this is a big and bad common move. Definitely a little added pressure on him here. All tied up, and we're at the top of the eighth. Pitch misses and one and one. Where was he throwing that ball? There's a strike. Oh, he thought about it, but declined. Hard hit to third. Rolls across the Dorn with that Olay crap. That quickly, two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Just missed. Strike one. That's good because that was a mistake pitch. That was way too down the middle. So was that. What are you doing, Bush? Come on, Bush. Got it. Misses, oh, you missed the three-run homer, Majority. Rube went deep to center field. Look at that. We tied it up to five hits, three runs apiece, dead even. And they were obliterating us. They had a perfect game so into the fifth. The game now on defense, Matt Mervis. He's the new third baseman. Third third base. All right, come on. Come on, Larson. Let's keep it going here. Bottom of the eighth. Check. Oh, man. It's kind of hoping he was going to drop that. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. Nope. Ooh. Oh, they caught our ball. See that palm tree right there? Where the bat is right there? Um, he pretty much hit the bottom of it. Oh, man. That strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Ooh. Willie, Willie, oh! That could, I mean, Willie's so fast, man. Just get it over the head, you know. If you hit something, he's got the wheels to get there. Perfect, 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 perfect. I was right on that, and I couldn't do anything with it. Ah. Yep. Hey, what's up, J Dub? We're in a good one here. Oh, Tanaka! Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the strike. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Right down the middle. He threw it 100 mile an hour at his head. Got to make a quick adjustment. 
Line drive and makes the play, and that's out number three. It's Shoot. Top nine and How many pitches have Bush thrown? Eleven. All right, we'll keep him in. And he's just looking to get something more. going any way he can here. Try to untie this ball game. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Next offering is downstairs. Your mom likes it downstairs. On the ground at first. Oh, good play, Metcalf. Takes it to good the play. Back. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. So they're making the move for a bat off the bench. Alexander Canario. And this is a big at bat in this ball game. And a foul ball. If we can stop him here, guys, we could potentially win this one in the bottom of the ninth, walk off fashion. Uh, not there yet. Not there yet. So now a pinch hitter. Patrick Wisdom, the runner on first and two gone for him. Nope. Ah. There. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's give him some high heater. With the go-ahead run at first, you're at the top of the day. Got him. Third out, His name is Wisdom. The runs, one hit. Well, then it was his brother. Knowledge. Part of the order. Three, four, five will get their shot in the bottom of the nine. All tied up at three. Dorn, Pedro, and Jake. So remaining this in the is it. We, we can do right here. We end this one. Canario. He'll be the new right fielder after entering as a pinch hitter. You're a You're great three, great four, great. five do up for the home team. team. Here's the third baseman, number, number 24. Yeah. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Now ben Brown. Come on, Dorn, just get on base. Just all we need to hit here. Oh. Bounce that up in a picnic area. Get on base. Get on base. Check. All right, 2 1, 2 1. We got this. Oh, that new Mountain Dew, the new Baja Blast Fruit Punch. I'll show it to you in a second. Come on, Dorn. Oh, that felt good. That felt so good in the controller. It shook a little bit. It vibrated. Oh, Full count. Come on, Dorn. Look at Big Boy waiting. He wants that walk-off. He wants that. We don't have that trophy yet either. That's one of the trophies we don't have as a walk-off homer. I kind of want to wait for the regular season to get it, but I'll take it now. Nope. Outside Here we go. Bring Joe Boo up. All right, Joe Boo, come on up. There he is. This is it. We could win it right here. We could win it. He's got a curve, too. And there it was. It was a little high. It was a little high. I would have I popped that. I would have popped that up. Because I would have I would have went like that and I would have popped it up. Come on. Here we go. Ah I popped it up anyway. Get out of here, Joe Boo, you false god. Falls it in, and there's one away. Ah. Bush. Here's the catcher to hit. Alright, Jake can end it. Jake's got that kind of power. This guy's staying up in the zone on me, man. He's staying higher than the other guys, and it's got me mentally messed up. Got it! Go! Go! Oh, no, everybody back. Oh, Lord, that's a double play. We're going extras. All right, had him on third. I thought Jake was at least going to hit the wall with that. Here's that new Mountain Dew, man. It's called uh, Baja Blast uh, Point Break Punch. Got a little Keanu and Patrick Swayze juice in there for you. 
you can see that right there. Can you see it? It's, uh, and welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the center. The lights. I know the lights kind of messing it, but uh, it's in a it's in like a pink can. Power, a great athlete, quite simply. He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent. You're back back now, and we're in extras. The new arm on the mound here in the top half of the inning. Daniel Espino. That's in there. And that is strike one. Man, it's just crazy. This game's really crazy. I mean, they they put three runs up on us in the first, and it looked like it was, this was going to be a freaking onslaught of runs, but... They haven't done a single thing since the first inning. We settled into it. Lindbergh went deep for spring training anyway. He went seven. Rube hit a three-run dong. Fat boy up the center field. Uh-oh. Oh, good job, Pedro. And a couple of quick outs. Man, if that drops right there, they would have gotten the potential winning run on base, maybe even in the scoring <laughs> position, but that's just one of those hang with them. Uh -oh. Whoa, oh, oh, that slider slid. Ah, get on first base, pussy. Here's the shortstop at the play. Number nine. It wasn't even a fastball, it was a slider. You know, you hit by a slider and you can play your wuss. The possible go ahead run at first. Your man. Dude, Rambo stitched himself up in the jungle. Okay. He didn't he didn't cry, he didn't whine. He just walked the first. Pitch. Dude, his slider is sliding. I don't think I can throw that against uh, lefties anymore. Like, it is legitimately sliding. You could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Oh, yeah, I know. I just watched it. I watch it a, probably, I don't say once a week, but maybe two times a month. Did you see the new, hey, did you see the new, um, the new Roadhouse? I, I watched it, but I went into it with an open mind, but I thought it was going to suck. It was actually pretty good. It's not as good as the original. Swayze is, is, is good, but I, I will say this. I was surprised at how well Hall played Dalton. And it never confirms nor denies it's the same Dalton. Like, I, I was waiting for them to say it's his son or something like that. You know what I mean? But give it a try on Amazon Prime. Come on, Rube. Come on, Rube, baby. You can end it right now. Rube could be MVP and score all four RBIs if he hit the dong here. Check, check, check. See, them big boys don't check. That's what, that, that's what gets me in trouble is I'm a checker. Yeah, I like – that's exactly what I said, dude. That's exactly what I said. The, the fight – because, like, they would do it in one shot. Like they like the camera would be behind the bar and then it'd be like going over the bar with them and stuff. And I really liked how Jillen Hall played the nice guy because one of the greatest lines in in, in um, Roadhouse is a it's a line I try to live my life by, to be honest. And it's be nice until it's time to not be nice, right? Get something you can use that to make yourself a better person. And uh, it's such a great line. And Jillen Hall was legitimately a nice guy. Like, he played a really good, nice guy. But when you crossed him, it was over, right? Yeah, and I really liked the way he played the role because Dalton was never a mean, hothead, you know what I mean? And I thought that's what they were going to turn the movie into, was just some rowdy fights and stuff and just, you know, bar banging. But they didn't, which I thought was, was true to the, to the story there. Swing and a miss. Swing inside. Come on, come on, Rube. Inside, really think the outer half is open. And a curve misses. We'll count. Derek Metcalf to bat next. Oh, it's a shot. Drop. Okay. Oh, did that hit him in the balls? Good right fielder just took one off the junk. Rube's on. There you go, Rube. <laughs> Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew Oof. he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just yeah, I hope he put his cup on. And he hit the ball on the screw. All right, Metcalf. And the batter now, Derek Metcalf. 
And that one left it in the air center field. And there's one away. Oh, I couldn't tell either. Oh, okay. Is that what that was? Yeah, I don't know. You know, the one, they did recycle that line about nobody went to fight. She's like, uh, she asked about winning a fight, and he was like, nobody ever wins a fight. And I was like, oh, man, they're recycling lines. Oh, good pitch. Come on, Raina. Raina can end this. If he can hit one in the gap, it can be over. He's a good hitter. 0 for 3 today, though. Good pitch. Good pitch. I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for it. M mentally, I wasn't there. And then he threw a nasty 12-6 curve. Come on, Larson. Let's set this on fire. But yeah, I was surprised at that I enjoyed. I laughed a lot. The, the chick I'm dating, she's like, I'm really glad you liked it because I thought you were going to hate it because <laughs> I was talking a lot about it. On the ground. The underhand flip. Oh, good and play. She knew how much I liked the original and how I like all that classics and old school LC. stuff, so she was like, she was afraid I wasn't going to like it. But I said, no, nah, I try to keep an open mind. You know, I try not to put right things down until I tried it. Under this one. And it's caught for the out. Miles Mastroboni, the next cup. Mastroboni. Big Master B. One, one, one. That yeah, misses off the outside edge. In the dirt. And it's two and one. Mastroboni. What a name. Come on, Master B. Oh, got the Master B slinging it. Hey, you know what a really funny movie is that we just watched? Also, uh, Ricky Stenicki with Cena and Efren. Dude, that is funny. That's a funny movie. That was way funnier than I had any idea it was going to be. You know, Cena doesn't miss. I really like John Cena. I really hope they come out with season two of Peacemaker. Because Peacemaker's writing and how all the actors worked together and their lines was hilarious. Cena just freaking killed that. Oh, no. This might be a problem. Quicker. Oh, Tanaka took 20 minutes to get that in. He will score. Tanaka took too long. Always feels amazing getting the job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual. Shoot. We had two outs and he hit that freaking perfect shot down the line. And there's no one playing there, so once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. Fires across the diamond. They limit the damage here. Cubs pick up a run on the RBI double. Did he kill that? Well, this is it. Lee. Oh, and they're bringing in the legendary Lee Smith. No, I wish I wouldn't have gave him to him. <laughs> Freaking legendary Lee Smith. Oh, good pitch. Good slider. Man, that stays so high. Look at me. I went down. That slider slid up there. Mm. He's all over the place on me here. Look at that. Same pitch in 2,000 different... Yeah. Dude, he threw three sliders that hit the three different corners. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in... Broke the bat. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Yeah, I've not seen a freelancer. I don't know about that one. Well, this is it, guys. We're down to our last out here. If we lose this one, we lose two in a row. Come on, Doran, be smart. Pedro could still walk off home run and win it if Doran gets on. Check. Check it. I said check. Dude, I barely touched a button. Oh, 
Oh! Dolan with the no doubter! Dude, he killed that! Unbelievable! They're on their feet here, stomping. Dorn with the no doubt. Yeah, legend. Yeah, you're telling you it is on you. Because you're a legend and you just let Dorn go yard. He said, man, that's some bull. <laughs> he turned around like, y'all see that? Dude, that was beautiful. Let's see that again. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. It was it was exactly the pitch. I was you see how I sat low and I I sat kind of like low and outside to make sure that I was sitting. If he would have threw a high fastball, he beats me. Boom. Oh look at this! Look at this view. Beautiful. Beautiful. Four thirty eight for Dorn. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Oh, time out. We need Joe Boo. Hold on. Joe Boo. End it for us, Joe Boo. There we go. He's on the screen. He's on the screen. I was down here, and I went right up and got that one. Nope. Nah, I don't want that fastball. Put a little bit. Just give me a little bit of curve. Because, see, the curve is what lets me catch up to it. Come on, big boy. Here we go. Ooh, good pitch. Good pitch, man. Good pitch. <laughs> He's like, yeah, good pitch. <laughs> something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly Come as on. possible. Come on. Let's end it. Let's end it. Ah, you, I checked it. He threw that one. Freaking the Jeffrey Draft. That was way upstairs. The next offering misses. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two two, two. It's giving Joe Boo, Joe Boo more time to work his power here. Full count. Full count. Jake Taylor waits on deck. Jake's on. Jake's on deck. In the air out to center. And we didn't get all of it. Should have this one. Dabs it. And that will end the inning. But we're all tied up thanks to this. Well, Dorn didn't let us lose. Now at four piece. We got all of it. And we're back. New inning getting started. And now the center fielder, Christopher Morell. Back now, we're in extras. And there's a new arm on the mound, Ty Brown. Your attention, please. Now a swing and a miss, strike one. We had, we had a game with the Reds go 17 innings. I hope we're not He's doing that there. again. And count is I want to. I want to finish this one out. And that just misses. One ball, two strikes, Mr. Down. Got him. Down on ball. strikes, and there's one away here <laughs> in the twelfth. <laughs> now it's Jan Gomes. Your mom likes being on deck. And yeah, there's a ball. <laughs> Catches the nice. top part of the zone, and it's one and one. That's the oh, third. Oh, Dorn's got it. Dorn's got it. Dorn, son! Gets it to got him. Oh, by the way, everybody, if you don't know, MD is, is steak from the um, uh, Mystery King Game Server, and he's also in Retro Knockout. He's actually one of the characters. He's from Cleveland. I told him I was doing these streams. I thought he might. I thought he might enjoy them. We're gonna have a fun season with this this year. I promise. Just it's good to be back playing MLB the Show. Down, nobody on, and we're deep into extras. Yeah. Swing and a your, miss your mom likes it when we go deep into extras. <laughs> Foul ball oh. still one and two count. Metcalf's got it. All right, here we go. We got a chance at this walk-off still. I'm telling you, Metcalf can end it too. All right, come on, Jake. Get on base, baby. Get on base, Jake. This to center field. 
Morrell sizes this one up. Warning track power. And there's one down. Such a tease. Nobody likes a tease, Jake. Now, next is the designated hitter. Rube, three for four. Three RBIs, two singles, a big old dong. Right through there for a strike. Oh, one's the count. That was a little higher than I would have liked that. I think it would have popped it up if I swung. Ooh. Two knuckle curves in a row. And then a 93 mile an hour fastball. Okay. Then a 94 mile an hour fastball. Bases empty one away. And here in extra innings. Rube's been hitting the day. It's another hit. Look at that. Four for five. Smoke through the infield. All right, let's see if we can't end this here. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do Went too much. got the it. Pitch, just shot it through the infield. Now it's going to be Derek Metcalf. 0 1. And that one fouled off. Pitch misses there. Now one and two. Way to lay off that pitch down. <laughs> I went up on that. Yep, look, I went up on it. I almost screwed that all up. That was close. That one missing inside. Come on, Metcalf. Pitch. I was I was gonna let that one go too, and then that stayed in the strike zone. I could tell it was gonna be too high for me to get to it. Get it to me again. He's throwing some hook up to it, but he, he's keeping it high in the zone, and that's tough for me to sit up there. All right, Reina. Jose Reina, the next to hit. Reina, 0 for 4, man. He, he's like got the best batting average on the team. He was late. Well, that just means he's due. And a strike on the outside edge. It looked like that was going Two outside. Outs, but the winning run is at first. Oh, great stop. The throw, and they get the out. So one hit is all they get. No. Nope. I tell you what, man, they don't make many mistakes on the field. Like nobody. On the ground, right side. Tosses the first. One up, one down. From from our experience of spring training on this game. Infielders make pretty much all these plays up the middle there. And that one missing low. We're in the 13th inning with these guys. Swing and a miss. And it's another extra inning game where both teams have scored in one of the extra innings to keep it going. You know? It could have been over if Dorn didn't go, go deep. Oh, big old Master B. Master Ball stands in with two away as he takes a ball. That's in there. I can only imagine the jokes this guy had to like deal with in high school. Cause you, oh, Master B going deep. Nope. Ripped to third. Nice door. Master B ripped it. Cubs are down quietly. Still all square at four Eight hits apiece. apiece, four runs apiece. You know, that's what John Cena is. And the um, Ricky Stanicki, his profession, he lives in Vegas. And he's an entertainer. And what he does is he turns every song into a masturbation parody. Like, um, 
Remember um, Devo, like, uh, whip it, bow, 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 bow. You must whip it. Like, so they'll be doing that song and be like, boom, 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 boom. You must grip it. Grab that dick. And like the whole like movie, he's got all these different oh, parody songs of masturbation. It's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> I was right on that. I was just late. Ooh. Man, they're still bringing these guys in late, and they got serious movement on them. More than any other pitch in his arsenal, and he's going to try to put you away with it like he did right there. That's his go-to pitch early and late in the count. Really? That's 20 push-ups, really. That's 20 push-ups. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Next to hit, Ichiro Tanaka. Maybe expecting a punt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. And there's a foul ball. Strike two. Oh, man, I'm telling you, that, is that a slurve? Yeah, that's a, it's a 12-8 curve, and it is fantastic. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Gomes to first. He could probably throw that every pitch and, and, and beat me. As long as you don't, if, if you, as long as you don't make a mistake. All set to begin the 14th, and now the DH, Kevin Alcantara, Hunter Gaddis. Look at this guy, freaking Sasquatch out there. That one finds the zone, and it's on one. You got Bigfoot on the mound. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul up. The miss. Pitches. There we go. Nice slider. Real nice slider. Now it's Alexander Canario. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Killing me softly with the old pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. He's got no speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's out number two. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited. Ooh. Lifted in the air right center. Pedro's there. You might want to think about some of our players out there. Back here in extras, and a new pitcher on the mound at the bottom half of the inning. Not Doran, because he just hit a home run. He might end it right here. Three, four, five, do up for the 14th Hornets. inning. Number 24 digs in there. First pitch swinging. Sun's going down on us here. It's going to be a night game. <laughs> we keep playing these, like, 1 o'clock, so turn into night games. Oh! Doran got hit. What do you know? All right, here we go. Come on, Joe Boo. Come on. Pedro's one for five. One for five. Pedro could end it and get a trophy all, all at the same time. Nope. This guy's going inside. Winning run on base at first. No outs. 2 0. This could be the pitch. This could be the pitch right here. We're going to power swing. Ah! He slid it away. He slid it away. A swing and a miss at the slider in the dirt. Pretty clear to me. He is trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Just off the outside edge, Jake Taylor. 
Waiting for a turn at the plate. I had to stay alive. I thought he was about to strike me out, and that one went way outside. That's the first time I've seen that pitch from him. Oh! He would have struck us out. That was close. Winning run on it first. Pitch number eight here. Ah! A high inside fastball, man. High inside fastball. All right, Jake. A lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job. If he gets that fair, it's second and third, or at least first and third. There we go. There we go. Oh, we can't go three, though. Yeah, I don't want to. I didn't trust it. Yeah, I didn't trust that. Good hit, good hit, good hit. Here we go. It's Rube. I'm telling you, Rube's been waiting to be MVP here this whole game. He's like four for five. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate. Rube, Rube is four for five. And he did it perfectly. Winning run in scoring position now, so a clutch AB could end this one. At the play, Rube Baker swings through that one. Oh, and one. one. Dude, that'd be crazy to have two three-run homers in the same game. No better way to get out of this inning. Next offering is down low. And high heat signs looking good, Rube. I'm telling you. Inside move to second, and he's back in safe. It's sweet if he threw that out in center field. I'm taking an extra step off the leadoff. That's why they're throwing. And another ball. Tough spot right here, a couple two runners balls, on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute the mom like it when I nibble. Leave something out over the plate. It's going to bring in some runs. Oh! Foul. Man, that was just above where I was swinging. Please. Full count. Hey, this could be bases loaded right here. Hitting on deck circle. With Metcalf, and he's got the most home runs on the team. You're deep into extra innings. Deep. You know who likes it when I go deep? Nope. Oh, he kept it in. I thought for sure that was going inside. And it was a slider, and it stuck in there. That's all right. Metcalf still up with two men on. That was a great pitch. Good pitch, man. Good pitch. Swing and a miss. It's all one. Base hit, the game's over. Sliced hard, but foul. Winning run stands at second. Two fastballs right in the same spot, pretty much. Oh, error, 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 error. Oh, I did that really smooth. Fifteenth inning. On. Back here with my pal Siggy. Here's the center fielder, Christopher Morell. And fouled off. We're just getting extra baseball here. Extra practice. That's all this is. And strike two. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Go! And they lead it. It's 5 4. Chris is hard in back to back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jan Gomes. You're a new arm into the game. The righty, Trevor Steffen. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Out to short. Over to first. And Gomes is retired. And next for the Cubs, Michael Bush. In there at the knees for a strike. 
One out, base is empty, and a run in here in extra innings. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Oh, that was a terrible dive. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. He's out. Oh, he called safe for you in there. What is this guy doing? That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot. Not looking good for the tribe now, that's for sure. Don't be surprised to fall on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Yeah, okay, thanks, Mr. Freaking. Captain Obvious here. They might want to not give up another run in extra innings. looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just Great change goodness. speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. So up next, Matt Mervis. Mervis. Nice. Swing and a miss. Was he early on a 96 mile an hour fastball? Ball nope. one there. That oh, one missed. Oh, come on, man. Fouls one off. Two and two. At the end of the stream, we'll go ahead and, and advance to the regular season. Nice. And make sure the roster's set, and we'll look at the schedule, because I don't even know what the schedule is. Well, I'm kind of uh, curious to see what the schedule is, you know, who we're, who we're playing. In. We're starting off. The on the mound the bottom half of the inning. Number zero. I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are... Oh, good pitch, good pitch, good pitch. Fooled me. It's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. 5-4. Check. Slider's got me looking silly up there. Ooh. Yep. High fastball. He did slider, slider. And it went high fastball. No chance. And that changes things. Yeah, you can kind of see how just the hope and optimism is shrunk a little bit, but they got a couple more outs to work with. They got to find a way to get a runner on and get one around the bases. Trying to close out a one-run lead. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Swing and a miss. Larson. Feeling like you are in command. Would chase that time. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. And that one fouled off. That's about two seamers. Look at this. It ain't over. Larson with his second double of the game. Well, if he would have put his hands against the wall, I would have went three. If, you know what I mean? If he would have done that thing where he, like, runs up against the wall, he didn't know. <laughs> Good double. Hey, we've only got one out and a man on second. The tribe ain't done. Here we go. Come on, guys. Oh, I guess he did. I missed it. Come on, Willie. Come on, Willie. Looking for the sack bun. And that's down and He's away. smart. With the tying run at second, and we're deep into extras. Deep in your mom. It's softly on the ground. Left oh, there we go. Come on, run, Willie. Run. Oh, look at these plays. This man's out there like a woman doing gymnastics, man. He split his ball sack on that one. How'd he make that catch? Look, first of all, you got that. And then you got throwing from the knees, and then this guy over there is fr freaking doing a dance, a stripper dance. Oh, this is it. This is it. We got a runner on three. Some pitch. They're out there making like insane plays on us. You're in extra innings. Oh, the pitch. It's a two. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Oh, oh, oh he should have took that, man. He should have took that shot in the elbow. Or oh, the arm, man. He should have got hit. This could end it. 
Hit! No, let it hit you! I wish we could tell them to not do that. You gotta move or they won't, the umpire won't give you the base, but like, you know, you can fake it. There we go, we tied it up! We tied it up! What a game, man. This is this is crazy. Did the marbles thing? Marbles! With two strikes and two outs. He said, oh! <laughs> Stereotyping himself. Love it. Big, big comeback here again. Oh, the pitch. Come on, Dorn. The go ahead run is at first. You're deep into extra innings. Oh, good pitch. Dude, that looked like that had movement, and it did not. Particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level, but it's really hard to catch up and get that top hand to work on time. Nope. Uh, I'm going to take a couple guys there. It's getting late. They're going to get so, like, drained on this game. <laughs> All right, so let's go uh, substitutions. Dorn just... So good job to knock out. You're going to come out Tomlinson's end. Now into the ball game on defense, Bill Tomlinson. Now he'll be out left field. We'll take out Dorn. We'll put in Rhodes. Did I miss him? Oh, he's the second one. Now playing third group. Take out uh, Arena. New picture on here, Adam Scott. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic nice. bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Good pitch. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. Next offering upstairs. Good pitch. Tough take right there. Oh, good pitch. That more often than not. the ground and that one handled in plenty of time to first one up one down Kevin Alcantara the next cup to hit that one finds the zone strike one foul off down the right side sixteen innings here guys chopped in the ground and he's safe at first. Some he was going to throw it bad. See how it got in the red and it didn't stay in the green? He could have threw that into the crowd. I might have just saved the game right there by, by killing that throw. In the air, out towards right center. Hayes on the move to the gap. Makes the grab. Because if, if you get the meter in the red on either side, that's when it goes wild. And they, they, he could have threw that into the crowd. First pitch misses. Would gave the runner second. Just missed. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Just missed. I'm keeping it low. You know, I'm keeping it low, but he's not swinging on it. Because he's got so much power. Come on. Get the out. Afraid to make a mistake. And he walked him. Well, that could be a big walk in this ball game. Moves the go-ahead run into scoring position. So Whoa. Some pressure pitches coming up in this next A-B. First and second, two down. Good pitch. There we go. Now it's 0-2. Well, now it's 0-2. It's special right here. It's going to have to happen with two strikes. Smash to the Markley. Tosses the first. They miss a big Here we go. Bottom of 16. And a couple. And this remains a five five. Pedro. Joe Boo, we waiting on you, buddy. Pedro's, Pedro's one for six. He's the rent to the night sky. Come on, Pedro. You know I know you want that trophy, Pedro. 
We know he does. So if we was to hit a home run, a no doubter, it would go tink. And he didn't. He did not get it. Got around on it. Got around on it, but that was not good enough. He was up there with it too. Check. Check. I wanted to check it. Taylor. Yeah, break the lights like the natural. See, now that one looked like it was up there, and it fell straight on down in. Not even close there. Come on, Jake, get on base. Jake's two for five. There we go. No. I thought that 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 one felt good too. No good. All right, Rube is four for six. He's done a little bit of everything this game. Boom. Five for seven. Rube is on absolute fire. And now the winning run is on base. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. And now Ooh. Derek Metcalf. All one's the count. Rube's been crushing the ball. Oh, there it is. I don't even see the ball. There it is. There it is. Walk off. Do your dance. We got the wall. It wasn't Pedro, but Metcalf was his eighth homer. He leads the team by far. Look at that. Look, that whole team is down there. That was not. That was awesome. There we go. We got the. Uh, we got that one. Right there. Oh, he did. He did a jump shot. He just did a jump shot with his helmet. Join in wherever you are out there. There we go. Good stuff. Dude, I, that was – he just – look at that. He hung it. He hung it on me. Look at that. It just dropped right where I was sitting. I didn't even see the ball for the longest time. I lost it. I was looking more left field. It was more center. Killed it. Did he hit that tree? I think he might have hit that tree. Here comes the camera crew. They're going to talk to him. A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris what Simpson, a game. That was a good game. So long. Crushed it. Metcalf over at first base. So, you know there, uh, I'm going to have to call you Steak. Um, you know, Metcalf was the first baseman from the movie, but it never told us his first name. You know, we never got his first name. So, in honor of Eric Metcalf, one of the greatest Cleveland Browns of all time, I called him Derek Metcalf. <laughs> I figure you'd appreciate that, too. Eric Metcalf was one of my favorite players growing up. I loved watching. Dude, I love watching him return punts. Why are you going to show all these Cub highlights? Nobody cares. Nobody cares about these. There we go. That's who we want to see right there. Boom. Got the trophy. Oh, he hit it right in front of the... Uh, Rube got player of the game. Now, I mean, I, I get it. I get that Rube was five for seven, home run three RBIs, but, like, not giving it to Metcalf for a walk-off in the 16th, I don't know about that. You know, that that's a kind of a tough one. You, you probably give that to, to, to Metcalf. Good stuff. That was a great game. Got, like, a million XP. <laughs> We're back on the winning side. If we would have lost that one, we would have potentially been on a losing streak. So we got Colorado here. Advanced day, yes. Like I said, so we you know we're, I'm not done with the stream. It's only it's only nine o'clock, so I'm not done. But when I here's Rick Vaughn. We got Vaughn starting off this game. Uh, but like I said, when I after I play the last game, I'm gonna play whichever one that is. We'll go ahead and advance to the regular season. We'll trim the roster down from a 40 man to 26, and we'll check out our schedule and see who we are. Now, I did, I was curious, I think they're playing 2024 schedules. So, and I'm pretty sure that this will just take over because it was the Cleveland Guardians, boo, that I took over when I put the Indians, yay. Um, Harold Baines. I believe it was it Harold Baines or who's the other 
Hey, I put in Who's the other 90s legend? It wasn't Conseco. It sucked they didn't have Conseco in here. I should have probably just made him. He was so instrumental. <laughs> that's going to that's gonna make me... Hold on. I'm curious. Who is that 90s A? Hold on. Let's go rosters. All's fine. Let's go. Let's see who it is. Ricky Henderson. How could I? For, yeah, look at that. And I'm pretty sure we start our season at Oakland, which is Henderson, McGuire, Eckersley. McGuire with the 99 power. 90 both ways. Nine, right and left. So that if, if we really do go to Oakland, that'll be an interesting start. And then I'm pretty sure they go to Seattle. And Seattle, as you can see, is playing lights out. They got Edgar, Edgar Martinez, uh, Ken Griffey Jr., Randy Johnson. Like, they, and they've already beat us twice in spring training. They beat us 3-1 to one right there. And then they beat us 10-3 to three right there. What a win. What a win. That was a good walk-off right there. Good stuff. I wonder if all of our... Uh, I wonder if all of our guys are tired. So we're 13-7 and seven now. Oh, we're only a half a game out of first place. Like I said, I know it don't matter, but it's still good to see. And the Rockies are playing 500 ball, 10-10. I mean, does that really matter? Rick Vaughn. Oh, the heater. All right. He's we got some people that need to come out. So we're gonna we're gonna put in uh, some of the backups here. Actually, we'll leave Jay Cam. Right now. Okay, there we go. So we have Winters, Tanaka, Rhodes, Breeze, Taylor, Baker, Metcalf, Markley, Delgado. So this is a bit of a makeshift team here. No, I didn't. Well, you. Uh, I know you know because you're from Cleveland, but the whole reason why the Cleveland Spiders became the Cleveland Indians was because of what was his name, Louis Sacagawea or whatever his name was. You know, they so the the Indians or you know the Cleveland Spiders at the time had the first ever Native American baseball player, and they ended up changing their name from the Spiders to the Indians to honor him. It was to honor the first ever Native American ball player because back then people weren't pussies and they didn't care about the word Indian. To see how it's not like, see, see, people are ignorant is the problem, dude. You know, you know this. Everybody, these kids, man, out there, they, they don't know what they're doing. They, they, they look at something and they see it. They do no research. 101. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Downstairs and it misses ball four. Now Vaughn's got a little control issues here, and that's that's nothing new. Now he 
Sokka. Yeah, exactly. Sokka. Sokka Alexis or whatever. Yeah. I, I knew it was Sokka something. Sokka. Sokka. Sokka to me. <laughs> I mean, I knew I was talking about it. I couldn't remember the guy's last name. It was a... That's a oh, oh, get there. Get there. On the move. He's got it. Then there's one down. It was to honor him, you know. And his family was like all happy and proud of that. You know what I mean? Like I would be too. This is a veteran led lineup right Todd Helton. Remember him? Oh Lord. That's a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one out single. These guys today are the hit and so run was beautiful. Dude, I didn't Todd Helton bat 400 one year or close to it. Jeez. Next to hit for the Rockies, Larry Walker. Larry Walker. In for a strike. Going to one. People forget, man, the Rockies had a World Series team there in the late 90s. Oh. Oh, oh. Come on, Vaughn. Come on, baby. You know how we're gonna get him out? Hold on here. You know how we're gonna get him out? Give him a heater. You know it. And yeah! <laughs> 101, sit down. Yeah, legend. Yeah, we know. Go sit down. We understand. So he wasn't ready for that. <laughs> yeah, that 101. Coach Lou Brown, he knew what was up. steps to the plate. A swing and a miss, and that's strike oh, one. Runners on first and third, two away. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Woo! Him, that's a strike Another one. triple digit. Couple of strikeouts with runners on. Sometimes you got to really bear down, and he did just that. Nice job of getting out of the jam and out of the inning. Yeah, the Pirates. Pittsburgh. But you know how how are the Kansas City Chiefs allowed to keep theirs? Is that no different than the Indians or Redskins? I understand like Redskins. I mean that, that's the only one that I could agree that like could be taken out of context as far as why it was done. You know, I mean Redskins was pretty uh, you know flagrant, but all the rest, you know what I mean? Like they could have. Uh, and if they didn't want the Red Indians like red skin on the Indian like on the logo there, they could have just replaced the logo. You didn't need to change the name. You know, they could have kept the name Indians. I'm all of it. This is just off the outside edge. I think that was you got the Chiefs out there. You got the Braves. Atlanta Braves. Same thing, right? He was born in Canada. High fly ball down the left field line. Bouchard sizing this one up. Puts it away for the out. One down. Yeah, I love the Cleveland Indians. I got so much Cleveland uh, Indian memorabilia. Dude, I thought I put Tomlinson in. We're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. Time it. Hold on here. Hold on here. Hold on. I thought for sure. Hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. What's my? You know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. No, I didn't. All right, I'll let him stay in. Thomas can play tomorrow, I guess. Next right game. Hander kicks deals. Swing and a high like I said, I'm really glad that I kept in Tanaka because he just hit the high heat sign. I... Oh, he's eating good. <laughs> he's eating good. Boom. And while I was looking to take him out, his first home run of spring training. Oh, <laughs> oh Tanaka's out there being goofy. Oh, he shot the fireball. <laughs> Big marble. Big marble. He hit the bottom of the uh, of the high heat sign that the uh, the, the stand on. Boing. And stepping in is the speedy Jimmy Rhodes. 
Out towards right center field. Ryan on a dead sprint. He's got it. And there's two away. Batting Batting four. Four. The two right outs, base is empty. Oh now here is number 34. Three. No, no uh, Pedro Serrano this game, guys. You don't have to worry about Joe Boo. There we go. Dude, I'm telling you, Micah Preeze super impressed me this spring training. He's just one of those made-up guys on the team down there. And really did really, really well. He, he, he made the team. Because, you know, we got to fill in the, in the team with some extras. And this Micah guy, he might be a real, he might be like a real life minor leaguer, but he ain't like. Oh, Jake! Dude, he might hit that palm tree. I think we just hit a palm tree. That was blasted to the moon. It's to the moon, Nellis. And they add to their lead. It's three nothing. Dude, Jake got all of it. Coach knew it. Swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension. And I'm pretty sure he hit that palm tree in the air. 439. Oh no, we just missed it. It could have hit it. It went past it. I went up and got. Look at that. 89 mile an hour cut ball, uh, cut fastball, and I went up and got it. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag and that We're like, we ain't doing extra innings again. <laughs> inning, Jake's like, screw that and extra working. inning crap. It's now three nothing. We need to get out of it. I was like, that wasn't even Jake's home run. That was uh we had, that was Tanaka. So we had two home runs that inning. Top of the second, and now it's Elias Dean. And we got Vaughn on the mound. Back to work. Hey. Good night. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get there, Tanaka. Get there. Oh! Dude, Willie made. The, or that's Winners. Winners made it over there to get the ball. That was a good shot. Oh, that hit the yellow. That, did you see that? That hit the top of the yellow. He missed that home run by like a foot, if not even inches. All right, give him the heater. Give him the heater. Give him the high heat. Can't handle it. Oh, he touched. I dropped it down. I didn't hit the straight. Nothing overly unique about the strikes. There you go. Breeze. Makes the grab, tracks it down after the long run. Now there's one throw. Now the left fielder, Sean Bouchard. Now this is in the air down the line. Tanaka sizes this one up, pulls it in for the out. All right, we're keeping that double. Hey, anytime you have no outs and a man on two, and you can't move him, it's demoralizing. I hate it when I get a man on second with no outs and we don't do anything. Can't stand that crap. Runner at second, two down. Got it. 102. The Rockies strand one. They trail it here, three nothing. Vaughn with the heat. We head to the bottom of the second. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Derek Metcalf. Derek Metcalf. A line in the pitch. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Good play. To first, lead off he ate that up. Here in the second. So digging in, William Marks. Oh, Markley, the Marks. Shot, Markley. That's extra. That is a single. So a man aboard now with one away. He's like, what? You like it? Okay. Now the rookie second baseman, Raynell Delgado. Delgado. Oh, good pitch. Good pitch. That splitter dropped, didn't it? That dropped all the way down. And the right hander deals. It weakly on the ground towards second. Ooh. Push it right away. And just so you guys understand. 
I put a lot of love and care in this team. Well, you know, y'all were here with me while I was waking most of it. But there's a scene in the movie where Lou Brown is telling the team about um, he's got the Rachel Phelps statue the, for the first time. Or not statue, but cardboard cutout. And, and he's showing it to them to tell them that they're going to start taking pieces off to see her body. And all the team is sitting there facing and looking at Lou. And it's got all their names on the back of their jersey. So I, I paused my TV and took a picture with my phone. And that's how I got Markley, Winters, Lindbergh, guys you don't even see in the movie, but they're in one scene. I mean, they might be walking around, but you never see it. There's one scene, and it gives you their, all their names on the back. So I just made up all these players based on name and skin skin tone, pretty much. Good pitch. He swings and fouls. So they're, they're in the movie. Every one of these guys are in the movie. Well, the first two. First two movies. Good pitch, man. That splitter's good. That's one of the better splitters we've seen. Check. Or hit it. Whatever. That's fine. Marks stands at second with two gone. So he's running on contact. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. <sighs> and welcome back to the ballpark. And now the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. And that's in the dirt. And there's the strike. Ooh. Dude, a 100 mile an hour fastball hitting the corner like that? Mm -mm. Bounce to the left you, gonna, side. you just ain't going to get there. Zips it to first. Yeah. Lead off hitter gone in the third. So in now for Colorado, Brendan Rodgers. Oh. Now, I was kind of thinking with this one having all these backup players in there. I mean, we've got. The Rockies trailing by three. Uh oh. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Can't get their base hit. We've got more backups in than starters. And I thought this was might be a tough game. Like, we you know, like we might just go ahead and take an L. But we're up 3 nothing early. Delgado. Off balance B. There's one. Look at that. Boom. Double play from two. No Non-starters. And no one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Warriors have the advantage three to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder Ichiro Tanaka. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Oh, one, one, one. Better start on the mound for this guy. This guy's got movement. It's so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things. It's not get hitting, and I wasn't even going to play him. In this one. Into the outfield base hit. Man Dude, Larry Walker, I think that is, in the right like field. Exactly Insane arm. Right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Pitch out. I thought he was stealing. Action. Come on, Roach. The pitch. And a foul ball. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit it's a dedication. hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. And that one is lifted in the air. Tracks it down for the out. And there's so was Dante Bichette not in here? Guess not. So now it's the four hitter, number 34. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Ground ball could be two. Rogers toss the second, and it's a double play to end the inning. No runs. And we're back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the four. Larry. Ooh. Oh, and one. Next oh, offering is downstairs. Your mom likes it downstairs. And another ball. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes Got a mistake it. in the zone, it gets hit hard. By Rube's there. Like this. That's a nice miss right there. Baker makes the grab, and there's one down. Here's the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. Nope, and there's a ball. Down. McMahon, 29 years old. He's been on a terrific run at the plate, Whoa, hitting over 350 in his last 10. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. 
Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping. This is uh, turning out to be a pretty good game. Defense works behind him with another ground ball. We got a long way to go. Still the early stages. And watches strike one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And now one and two. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound. He's trying to get uh -oh. a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it. Zips it across. It's a one, two, three inning for the Rockies. Nothing doing for the Rockies. Still down. Colorado's definitely off to a rocky start. <laughs> Here with my pal Siggy. Now it's the DH. Jake one for one with the two run dong. The wind of the pitch. Taylor goes five feet, 11 inches, 205 pounds, and he's usually a catcher. Today he gets off his legs a bit. He's the DH. That's a base hit and the leadoff man aboard. And here's the catcher, Rube Baker, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And takes low for ball one. I really like when a guy gets a break like that. He still gets to stay involved in the game. Instead of starting behind the dish, gets to hit, gets to rest a little bit, gets to watch the game from a different perspective. Oh, Rube. Well, that's fair. That's fair. Goes to second, safe there. Base hit. That's two on, no outs. We might uh, step up. Oh, look at Jake Sweet here. So up next, Derek Metcalf. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And a foul ball. Oh, keep it going, keep it going, Metcalf. Taylor over at second. Baker at first with no outs. That misses. And the count is one and one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Your mom Antonio likes double barrel action. <laughs> and ready to go. Gomber, a lefty, warming up as well. <laughs> the one two. That's a check. That's a check. Checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. And he held back, according to Ricky Howell. Come on, guys, that was funny. Y'all ain't mapping in the chat. That was a good one. Double barrel. Two dongs. Check. In the dirt. Full count. Hey, we could walk with... That Runners nice. hold tight, but it's a full count now. Come on, be smart. Be smart. I got to make sure it's there for a swing. I got to make sure Quattro it's back to work. And that'll load the bases. Bases are juiced. Here we go. Come on. Let's get it. Come on. Back up second base from shortstop. Here we go. Come on. Ooh. I thought he was giving me a meatball, and that turned inside. We got we got bases loaded. We could we could open this one up right here. He can bust this game oh, when I popped it up. Oh, well, that's all right. It's only one. It's only one guy. It's only one. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is a big first out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor yeah, yeah, like yeah. him, he is the looking forward three. to making up for it in his next at bat. Delgado in now. Takes ball one off the plate. It's all right. All I'm, get that a little bit I'm on a little bit more centered up. Like that. Oh, that was, it was a strike, though. I had to swing. I didn't have to, but I do now. And another ball. Two Jimmy, Jimmy's being quiet. You all right, Jimmy? What are you doing? You in a food coma? Full count, bases loaded. Bases are juiced. Quattro back to work. Ooh. That's a strike. We did the right thing and swing. That's a strikeout right there. The kick, the three-two. Oh, run, 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 run. He's off the bag. Four nothing. 
wah, 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 wah. Error. This is where things can really start to fall apart. As a team, they need to pick themselves up fine. Almost hit the runner. Better baseball the rest of the way. New pitcher now, Antonio Sensatella. Well, no margin for error. They weren't going to get a double play, so that's that run was going to score no matter what. But now they only have one run still. Come on, winners. He actually has a three run homer. We we have not we've yet to hit a grand slam in this game. Here comes a pitch. This one chopped in the Not very many opportunities, really. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps who's going to be in the rotation, but maybe a long run. Running out, running out. He's fast. Oh, he's safe. Five nothing. Here's the left fielder, Ichiro Tanaka. He's already homer here in this one. We got a man on the. Uh, Third. Ah, Smoke right at him. I would like to get another runner in. Whips it to first, and that'll keep more runs. Hey, five to nothing is one of our best games. We go to the top of the fifth, leading off Chris Bryant. Hey. On the corner at the knees for a strike. All these Rockies at the knees, please. Miss, but they still need hit their rope. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. So digging in, Sean Bouchard. Pitches in there, and that's strike one. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams. Oh, that guy, Stranger's he tried to catch it. Offense, no doubt. Fights that one away in the count. Has anybody heard about um, what that Billy Madison 2 movie's going to be about? Like, any plot or anything? I love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Yeah, first offering is I think that's pretty cool. They cast uh, what's her name, uh, Paige Spiranak, or how you say it. That really super duper hop blonde golfer. Uh oh. In the air, right center field. Delgado on his way over. He's got it, and that is out number three. Yeah, I've not heard anything about. It. I'm trying to look a little bit. I didn't and see much. I'm not sure if they put anything out there yet. I mean, he's he's pretty old, man. I guess he could kind of still look the part. Oh, good pitch. I mean, I'll definitely be interested in watching it, you know, because he usually does good stuff. But it's like, that's it. Oh, man, bad call. That's an interesting IP to bring back, I guess, Billy Madison. Or, I mean, Happy Gilmore. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. Now, he was out in front there. It was weird how Adam Sandler, like, named all of his movies the main character. He had Billy Madison, um, Happy Gilmore, Mr. Deeds. You know what I mean? Like, everything he did there for a while was just the name of the character. And it makes it tough to freaking remember. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Oh! So, I'm telling you, man, this guy made the team. That was solid. It's like his third double. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Taylor up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Jake two of two. That one finds the zone, and it's one, one and two. Two strike. Ah. Uh. Pick off move to second, and he's back in there. Runner at second here, one gone. <laughs> Skeptical that. Swing and a ball popped up. Pulls it in for the out. I don't think it'll be bad. It might not be good, like great. You know what I mean? Not be like, oh, it's such a great movie, but I don't think it'll be like bad. Where you're like upset you watched it. Ground ball up the middle into the outfield. Base hit. Coming home. Let's go six nothing. It's six nothing. Beaten up on Colorado. <laughs> And here's the first baseman, Derek Metcalf. 
Oh, Metcalf. Nope. That one felt good, though. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We're through five. The Warriors. Dude, the Rockies almost have as many errors as they have hits. And we're back, top of the sixth inning. Now at the plate, Ezekiel Tovar. And a big swing and a miss. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse. Go after hitters and get quick outs. Rogers, the next to hit, takes ball one. And the 1 0 misses low. Come on now. Come on, Vaughn. There you go. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. That one in triple digits. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Out to short. Tosses across the first. And that, that was a suspect two. throw right there. He almost Tottenham didn't get that one to him. In for the Rockies. Got a strike right through there. That one at triple digits. Big stack center field. Just kind of slice that one into center. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. Foul ball. Oh, he's going to Aloha Joe's. I right, find Jimmy over there. That's where Jimmy's at. So, uh, once again, that, that is actually going to hit it. If it would let us watch, it won't. And another ball. Jimmy went AWOL on us. Wouldn't chase that time. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so Shoot. should definitely score. And there's a hit. Around third. They scored. He scores. It's six. Six to one. Well, that worked out as good as it could have. We mentioned the RBI opportunity with the runner moving on the 3 2 pitch, and he cashed in. Whoa. Whoa, watch out. Whoa. Well, takes a little extra concentration. Dude, they just broke nachos. They broke the nacho machine. That was a really nice job there. Man on second, two down. Uh oh. Uh oh. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. On a second, but he's in there. See? As a right, Vaughn. <laughs> Elias Diaz digging in for the right. All right, Vaughn. One for two. To short marks. This should do it. On to first. That is Six the strong for Vaughn. Only gave up two runs. And he just gave those up. Gomber. Austin Gomber. There's the shortstop at the play. William Marks. Got a lefty. Well, this guy's got everything too. Pop foul out of play off to the right. Off to the right. The one. Swing and a foul straight back. Did I not go all the way down? I didn't. I like, let it come back up or something. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And he'll choose. There you go, Markley. That's a base hit. So, runner aboard to start the inning. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Raynell Delgado. Oh, good pitch. And that one fouled off. You took some sleep meds, dude. Runner at first. All right, man, take care. Hey, I'll catch you tomorrow on Skull and Bones. I'm going to see what's... Uh... Oh, good pitch. I'm going to see what the new challenges are if we get wave two. I'll, I'll make a post tonight. So when you wake up, check the pirate channel on Discord. Oh, good God. And uh, I'll, I'll uh, let you know if we got those new challenges and stuff. We'll, we'll try to jump on tomorrow evening if you're around then. And a pitch. Right to him. Right to him. One away. 
Dude, Larry Walker has an arm. Yeah, get some sleep, dude. You don't want to go to sleep with hearing my voice? Maybe I could I'll talk like this to you, dude. Just go ahead and lay down and get real nice and comfy and maybe drink a little warm milk. <laughs> little little ASMR for you here. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. one. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got You know what? I, I've seen some good things about it, and and I, I don't because I'm playing Skull and Bones right now, and that, and then I'm getting started on this, and, and with work and everything, I don't have time to take on another game, but I've heard good things about it, too. I've seen some pretty cool, like, shorts and stuff on YouTube. Apparently, it's a good game with friends. Like, if you don't have friends... It's it's right not. Yo, the did he catch? The throw to second, over to first. What did I just see? Nicely done. One six three. How did he that catch that? Lady. Hold on, let's the wait. Hold on one second. Hold on. No errors and no one left. Seventh inning coming up. Oh, it hits the, the dirt immediately. Okay, I thought that six. was in the air. I'm like, I, I was so confused. It hit the dirt immediately. It's it's a game you need friends to play though, right from what I'm see. understanding, to to, to really seventh, fully enjoy it. Colorado, Chris Bryant. And it's tough for me to get on schedule. Like, see, dude right there, me and him play Skull and Bones. That's what we were just talking about. So tomorrow we're going to stream Skull and Bones together. I've been playing that Texas Chainsaw Massacre, too. Um, but, that, you know, it's kind of dead now. It's kind of faded. Looking for that. I'm looking forward to Texas uh, to get more maps. We'll jump back on it when it gets new maps. Just gonna keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Good shot. Good shot. Came out. That's a good pitch. And here is Brenton Doyle. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0 1. Torres goes six foot one. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Bryant leads off first with one away. Did he like started the swing? He did like a golf swing on that. I don't even know how he hit it. Ground ball right side could be two. Takes it himself for one. Over to first, but it's offline. Mm. I, he would have beat it out anyway. He had that beat. Even if that was a perfect throw, That was he was already there. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. Yeah, Skull and Bones, we're at the end game of it now to where it, like, good shot. Come on, man. You know, every week you get new challenges to do as part of, like, the season pass, you know. And then you get a wave, which comes every 30 days of challenges. And I think we're getting a new wave tomorrow, so that's going to be good. Throw it. But Skull and Bones is a lot of fun, but you got to like Pirates. You really have to just appreciate and like the idea of piracy because you literally are, like, doing some farming and stuff. Not like out of the ground but like you gotta go and you gotta get poppy seeds and take it back to a certain place and put it in the laboratory to make the um opium and then you make opium to turn into black opium that, and sell it for silver to get your pieces of eight right because you kind of convert them and then you do the same thing with poppy seeds and the rum or excuse me um sugar cane and the rum and like you have to actually kind of grind making it things but the, the game itself is a lot of fun i like it there's a lot of streams on here if you want to just like watch one sometime just a few minutes of it and just get the gist just like push it right in the middle of the stream you know i got a whole playlist right side hard hit We've been playing it since day one. Well, actually, we've been playing it since the beta, so before day one. Come on, Jimmy Rhodes, you're 0 for 3, man. Dorn has been killing the ball. You're definitely the backup, Jimmy. Definitely the definitely the backup. Warming up as well. Swings through that. No ball, two strikes. Nice. One down, base is empty. Three. Good. Good pitch. That's out number two. And next will be the cleanup here. Number 34. And this guy's batting 400. And on all games he's played in. 
And he's at like a literally like a no name. And first offering is fouled off. And he's got at least three doubles. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere. Then you oh, yes. Yeah. And a swing and a miss. Down on Not strikes. that time. And Welcome back. Because we have a 400 no more. Off. Number 65. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Andrew Miziazi. And a pitch. Miziazi. Fly ball center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. These days, most outfielders. Yeah, really. They ain't kidding, dude. I threw one pitch. He said, I'm on base. I'm fine. I'll just wait here. It's going to be a pop out. And it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. And the slider just misses. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound. Think he, did he check his swing? Pitcher can get a ball on the ground, and they can roll him up for two. And another ball. The Rockies down by four, and we're in the top of the eight. Ah! Uh, up the middle, and it gets through. He would have made it because that's a bad throw. First and second now with nobody out. Your Pitch hitter coming on. Julio Carreras, good opportunity for him. first and second with nobody. Dude, they've been in a full round to tie this thing up. We were winning like six nothing. He's in for a strike. Out towards right side. Oh no. And that will fall. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score easily. It's six. They cut the lead in half. Time runs at the plate. Three hits in a row. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. Here's it, a high fly ball out to center. Winters makes the grab on the run. Good job. That was perfect. That was perfect play by Winters. Chris That's Ryan only out number one, though. Catch it his own for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Hey. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. <laughs> Do you see Jake? Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout. Oh, Actually, that's Rube back there. You see Rube? He was pointing at me like, good job, sir. Good job. Foul ball still. All right, two. come on. Let's, let's blow it by him here. Let's blow it by him. The time run at the plate. Oh, Got it. Oh, ball. too high. Too two. high. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the Perfect oh, curve. It's a strikeout. Yeah, that's Rube back there. That's right. I switched him because Jake's knees. And then carry that curveball down low to get him swinging. Six to four. Now it's six four. These hitters are relentless. Just till the bell sounds and they are going to keep four round of Indian it up here. Trying to get you into the corner and knock you out to third. Whips it across. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. So it's two runs on four hits, no errors, and a couple. It was like all base hits, too. Hunter Goodman. He'll be the new right fielder after entering as a pinch hitter. Jake's having a good game here, 2-3. He's already homered in this game. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. Come on. We don't want no more extra innings. Get through this. Yeah, the righty deals. Oh, good pitch. Good pitch. Yeah, Jake had that no doubter that, that went past that palm tree out there. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. And the slider just misses. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, I think he was waiting on the changeup right there, and he got it. It just drifted too far in on him. I think that pitch is just a Rube's little really picked his average up the last he couple games here. It up, but instead, he's going to have to go take a seat. Baker, the batter now, as he swings oh, and, and misses for strike one. Action in the pen down there. Jake Burr is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Slings it across. And a couple of quick outs. And now the first baseman, Derek Metcalf. Mm -hmm. 
And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Look at that. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Metcalf dropping a pretty there, gapper. A pretty gapper. Pretty it gapper. Any better than that. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with Nothing but green grass. Easy drive into the gap for that double. And now the shortstop, William Marks. Up and in, and it's one and These two of three, Markley's doing good. You always like it when you can bring in guys that are non-starters and they play well. It's always good to have death. Metcalf at second with two down. Oh, good pitch. Up the middle, and it's through for a hit. Around third. It's a run. Score, and they take a three-run lead. 7-4. Raynell Delgado, the next to hit. We're going to go into the ninth inning up at least three now. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Could have probably got two out of that, but I didn't want to risk getting an out with two outs, you know. I want a winners to make sure he got a chance to hit here. Oh, ah! I was thinking the same thing. Mom likes death. Mom likes it when I give her death. All right, we're gonna bring in uh, Dalton. He was from part two. He was a closer in part two. Look at that. Look at his saves and opportunities. Nine for nine. He's pitched ten innings, went nine for nine on the save opportunities with a perfect zero ERA. I mean that even if he ruins this hundred percent, it's we have a good closer. And that's important, especially with a team like this, where you're never usually whooping teams. It's always one run game. Right to the play. This to third, Rhodes. There's one. And a quick out number one. You, you need that Kenny Powers out there. That's Tanaka. That's two. There's two. Number two. Rockies down to their last out. And a foul ball. That could have been the game. He gets this one here, he'll be 10 for 10 on the saves, which is super impressive. Is just one strike away. There it is. And he gets it with a back, well, not a backwards K, but he gets it with a K. Great game, seven to four. That's that's about as well as we've hit ever. That, this game right here, we really put it to him. Twelve hits. No, that was them. Thirteen hits. Thirteen hits and seven runs. We'll see you soon. I will. I'll take that every game. If we could do that every game, we'll be in the postseason. Especially when you're hitting dingers. And Jake almost knocking coconuts off there. Jake got player of the game. Good game. Very nice. Very nice. I think tonight, I think I want to do... Here's... Oh, we got a ballin' Is a habit pack we just picked up. Even though we don't play Diamond Dynasty, we can still get stuff for our team, like sounds of the stadium and all that. Oh, look at this. Tops player spotlight, Jake Taylor. Oh, I hate the Giants. Four and 16? The Giants are trash. Eddie Harris, old man Harris. Um, hold on, I want to see that pack I just got. Oh, I got 
Two packs. Mm, tear. Sponsorship. Who we got here? Got some baseball cards. Tyler Stevenson. All right. What's his bowling as a habit? Jake Sweeney. Dude, that guy's got a car dealership down the street from me. I'm I'm not kidding. I see that guy on commercials all the time. Jake Sweeney. Automotive. Jake Elder, Matt Chapman. Oh, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Yo, his his parents was playing jokes. Your name is Chisholm. Almost Jism. So you name him Jazz? Which is almost jizz. This guy is like a couple letters from being jizz jism. <laughs> Junior. He's the second one, not the first. He's the second jizz jism. Jizz jism. All right, so I think we'll play one more game and I'll be done. I'm, I'm going to get one more because, like I said, I'm not going to play anymore. I'm in a baseball mood. I'm really looking forward to it starting for real. You know, they haven't played any spring training games on TV, Harley. Like, I've been trying to put them on in the background while I, was, while I work. ESPN and all of them are not showing any spring training. Ugh, excuse me. They're, they're just not. Like, I can't find spring training on any channel. So I'm really looking forward to opening day Thursday. So I'm in a baseball mood. And, and I'm once I start this season here, I can't play anymore. You know, I guess we could play. I don't want to do it, but you know, play exhibition on single player mode. But um, so this will probably be our last game. If we could win this game right here, that would be cool because it would end it on a three game win streak, and we would end it fifteen and seven. And Eddie's on the mound. They've never really changed their uniforms. Yeah, they've heard me. Oh, look at this. City. I don't I've been hearing about those city connects. I, I honestly don't know much about what a city connect is. I give you them alternatives there. We'll give them a, a, a spring training or a minor league stadium here. Where are we going to go? We'll pick one here. We played there, I believe. Did we play there? Yeah, we. I think we played the Reds there. Uh, yeah, that might have been a stadium we went 17 innings. I don't want to do that again. That looks like a little league stadium. I want to check this one out. All right, Eddie. And all, look at all of our guys. They're all back healthy. Nice. Shut up. I don't, I'm not. All right, so it looks like we're going to end spring training with the Giants, a hated team of mine. We welcome you inside Water Ridge Field. Spring training baseball coming your way. It's the Warriors taking on the San Francisco Giants. Dude, I want I want Pedro to hit one so far it First goes into the crowd. There way. he is. It shows him. It's showing Pedro. He's going to hit one so hard. Ready to go here. Here's the center fielder, Willie. Way James. over there into the crowd. Like 511 feet. He's going to hit that Walmart over there. And the pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Let's get on base, Willie. Let's get on base. That's all you got to do. Good start. Great start. You got to see the ball, hit the ball. And he deals. If it ain't there, don't swing. And downstairs. Okay. 
Hey, if Willie walks on, can't ask for a better start. Next offering is in I understand. I'll let you have that one. Willie wasn't allowed to swing. Okay. All right, now, now, now we got to protect. That's towards center. Twenty push-ups. it in after a long run. Is that door open in center field? They, somebody needs to shut the door. Now the left fielder Ichiro Tanaka. There's a strike. Tanaka getting the start in left. 25 years old, and he was born in Japan. One out base. Do, 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 do. Ah, oh, man, this guy's messing with me with them sinkers. Look at that. Look at them two sinkers, man. Those are good. That's like way down there. He did it again. That was a circle change. That's his best pitch, too. Oh! I, man, that was a good pitch. All right, Dorn. Two outs, base is empty. Number 24, getting ready to hit. And that one pulled foul. I really want to hit a home run and hit them people out there. I want to get one way out there. Yeah. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early. Sea level in the land. He's not ready to pull the trigger. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. I like that. That and pitcher's pretty good. As he gets a one, two, Tyro Estrada to the plate. The pitch. That's in there. Strike one. Harris. A six-two righty. He features yeah, Harris. the same Harris. A change-up, a curve, a change-up, and he works in a slider. He's got it. One up, one down. It looks like that door is open in center field. I guess that's a fence. Here's the giant slider. A tough challenge in this one. An excellent arm on the mound. Singy, they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and Come on. We can't we hang in that curveball, Eddie. He's you ain't allowed to throw it no more. So he'll be ready to swing from the Can't glove it cleanly. Nope. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Good hit. Got it. Man at first with one gone. Rich Aurelia, the next giant to hit. Right through there for a strike. Aurelia, a former All Star. Aurelia. Oh, 1,000 hit club, and they traded for him earlier this year. Slater stands at first with one out. Next offering is down low. Oh, really? Yeah. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threats here. Legend Smedgen. Nice job of laying off that pitch. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched it up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. It's like the next time we play this game, guys. A way to put them away. Did a nice job right there. On the ground to third. Regular season. That ends the you guys will get to see Cleveland Municipal Stadium. It looks, it looks beautiful. It looks just like it. No score. All right, come on, Pedro. Come on, Pedro. New inning getting started. Here's the rookie right fielder, Pedro Serrano. Follow Ooh. foul. Good pitch. Good pitch. I went a little too, little too low. Not low enough. Field two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Oh, I don't know. That crowd's pretty pitch. far back there. Ah. It's, it's doable, but you'd have to hit a 450-plus bomb. Jake Taylor now at the plate. Which we've yet to do. And first offering is fouled off. 
And this guy don't look like he's got much, but he's he's beating us. He had a foul ball. He is beating us. The wind and the pitch. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Derek Metcalf. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Pitch. Check. I checked. I checked. I checked. Didn't go. I know I didn't go. That's why I checked. And I go. I thought I was gonna kill that. And apparently I was too high. Good pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. Oh, it sounded like I tipped it, but. And we're back, bottom of the second. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Right you can't the say that uh, I'm a fan of this pitcher here. That one's in there. And Things that were seemingly two. starting off good for us, too, but nope. But it's spring training, so he'll be out of there soon. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. The pitch. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Righty delivers. Stays alive. Actually, the only pitcher of every game we, we played over 20 games, the only pitcher that went longer than four innings as a starter was the perfect game, and I think that's why they let him go five. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Because he had a perfect game going. And I, I think it was programmed to say, hey, if it's a perfect game, even if it's spring training, don't take him out, you know? Uh-oh. 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 Get there, Tanaka. He, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Play. yeah that's, I mean, that's doable. That crowd is doable. Hit him in the face. Good shot. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. And he starts his afternoon. An accurate throw and he's out. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good I feel like that guy started to do the John Cena. Did that guy just do John Cena? It looked like he was going like that. Oh, on the, if he was, that's pretty funny. We need to find out how to make our players do that. <laughs> and we need to we need to get this guy struck out. Let's see if it shows him stand up and do that. We play too full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, we don't have a hit yet. Back here with my pal Singy. Now it's the shortstop, Jose Reyna. Webb, back to work. Ripped to third. Oh. Sends it to Flores. Good hit, but right at him. So digging in, Mike Larson. To the right side, Estrada. Slings the first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Eddie Harris will hit next. In there for strike one. Eddie's got a hit. See, we're, we're at a National League team. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get Oh, Eddie was trying to get a hit there. Tosses to first, and it's a one Old man Harris. As we go Old to the man last of the third. Harris. And now the Giants pitcher, Logan Webb. The one on. In the air, out towards right center. Serrano drifts towards it, and there's one down. So the lineup flips over. Tyro Estrada, the next yeah. giant to hit. That's in there. 0-1. On, on. on the ground to third. No chance on the throw. He beats it out. I think that hit Dorn's head. Good throw, but now very difficult 
I feel like that bounced on Dorn's head. He killed it. Looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on them and see if Oh, that would hit Aloha Joe's on, at our stadium. Kicks and fires. Fights it off. You'll see another. Fights that one away and the count remains. Oh, good play, ball boy. Sign him up. Get that kid a contract. And he grounds one to the right side. And he's out. Oh, good, good scoop. Metcalf. Good scoop, Metcalf. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. And that one fouled off. We got two outs, so we can just get this one right here. We'll be all right. They got to run. They got to run on third, but we'll be all right if we can just get this out. Keep it low, and I'm gonna throw a change out here. I know you doze off, Jimmy. Ain't been talking to you. You ain't been talking back. We'll do it again. My voice puts everybody to sleep. It's so soothing. Hit on the ground to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Y'all be going to bed at like seven o'clock. <laughs> San Francisco, and we are still scoreless. Look at this. Start of the fourth. Now, all right, Willie. Willie, Willie went out. We, we went up on the count three zero, and ended up right flying out because he threw two strikes. Very high with that one. One and zero. Oh. Well, but he's got the all-black batting gloves. That's all that matters. That's all the majority cares about. They're chasing a lot of pitches yeah. outside the zone, and those chases are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Shoot. And we're 1-2 because he threw 1-2. On oh, what? I, ch I went to Chasing check it, and it hit the bat. Lead-off hitter retired in the fourth. Now, now, now. And stepping in is the speedy we still don't have a hit, guys. This is not cool. And the first offering is not close. Fourth inning underway, no score. He's pitching a perfect game, and I, I say that out loud because we want him to screw it up. Perfect game. His game is perfect. He's the greatest pitcher of all time. There we go, 3-0. <laughs> He throws the ball. We're on first. Perfect game over. I'm taking a pitch here, no doubt. Ah! We're going to take another pitch. I'm, I'm going to take another one. I'm going I'm to make him go full count on us if he wants to throw another strike. Get that pitch count up, too. Oh, good pitch. Here we go. Full count. It's the second time he's done this to us. Check. Oh, no, we – oh, drop, 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 drop. Base hit. That's even better than a walk. All right, there we go. We ruined it. It's over. All right. All right, Dorn. That was a good little poke right there. There's, there's Dorn. Pedro's coming up. All right, we are going to activate uh, Joe Boo here. Boo. Joe Boo's up here with us. Nice little hit. It, that got him uh, Tanaka over to third. He almost, if he doesn't make that, we just scores. Here we go. Come on, Pedro. Pedro Serrano. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Ah! If Pedro don't like that pitch. Runners at the corners, one away. Top half of inning number four. Wind is blowing out. Seven mile an hour. Dead up. Dang it. And that strike two. Oh, Come on, Pedro. Right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. Good. You can't touch him, pitches. Can't touch him. Get out of here, Joe Boog. He didn't do nothing for us. He did nothing. <laughs> we lost Natalie early tonight, too, didn't we? Who went to bed? Jimmy went to sleep. Natalie disappeared. Jake Taylor, the next to hit, went down on strikes his first time through. Right through there for a strike. Exactly. Joe, you're right. Joe Boo sucked. Pedro's not had a good stream at all. 
He's got a couple hits, but nothing of you know nothing of importance. That he has been done. That's Up your ball. butt, Joe Boo. <laughs> Corners are occupied with two down. That's one of the funniest lines in a movie. It's just so funny, so goofy. Ripped on the ground a second. Sends it to Flores. Your mom likes when it gets ripped on the ground. <laughs> Onto the bottom of the floor now. Still with no score. <laughs> bottom of the fourth. Here's uh, a cleanup hitter for, for the Giants. Jorge Soler. Right through there for a strike. <laughs> Soler, an all-star a season ago. 32 years old. And he was born in Cuba. Tosses the first. And a quick out number one. And here's the first baseman, Wilmer Flores. <laughs> uh, uh, even Jimmy's cat got in on the action there. Jimmy's cat just told her your mom joke. You just couldn't tell. Get out of here. Get out of here. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the play. There's a swing and a try. Hayes, going back. Hayes on his horse. He's there. That's a little like a screen on that. Uh, door. That was a quick inning. That, that I like to see. All right, Metcalf. He's got eight home runs, man. That's a that's a heck of a spring training. That's almost a home run every other day. Back to work. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. And he almost had nine. He's there. He's got it. And there's one down. And the batter will be the shortstop. Good pitch to hit. Reina grounded out his first time. Whoa. Reina almost got hit right there. I, well, I mean, I'll take base runners anyway. I get them now. Just don't hurt him. Bounced up the middle. It's a hit. Oh, uh, no. Throws from his knees. He's safe. Oh, <laughs> Good running it out. He did everything he could on that play with that was close. Knee, but the hustle down the line was enough to earn him the infield knock, and that's a great baseball play all the way around. Ooh. So up next, Mike that was as close as he That was close. He about looked out. But tie goes to the runner. It's a pitch out. Nothing tie ready. goes to the runner, and, and that was a, a tie at minimum. Man at first, one away. On the ground, left side, six, four, three. But he beats it. Good. Hustle. He needs to slide and into the continues. into the, uh, the runner there. Here's the pitcher, Eddie Harris. Shoot. Oh, for one, he grounded out in his first at bat. And there's two outs, so. And that one fouled off. We should get some guys warming up, though. Warm up the old bush. Check our schedule out here. I'm. I'm Oh, good pitch. I'm pretty sure they're going to follow the Cleveland Guardians 2024 schedule. You know, the, the entire 2024 schedule, what they're going to do here. Chases that one out of the zone. Picks up strikeout number seven. And we're back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And digging in for San Francisco, Blake Sable. This one's a pitcher's duel here. To be honest with you guys, I can't remember the last time we've had a game zero to zero in the fifth. Usually one team, usually them, has got some offense going pretty early. In the air, left field, Tanaka under it, and out number one on the grab. I mean, that's definitely doable hitting it in the, in the, to the crowd. Like down one of the lines, yeah, definitely. Center field might be too much of a stretch. I don't know. But that right there is doable. I mean, it would take maybe 430 to get to them. Boom. Boom. Sit down. That was a strike, sir. 
That's in there. One one. And a count one and one. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around. He's got it, right, Cap. He's been an attack. He down. takes it himself to the bag, and that'll. I'm not bringing a pinch hitter there. The scoreboard for him after five. Five innings complete. Because they're going to take him out anyway. Yeah, why didn't they pinch in? That was stupid. I knew they were taking him out. All right, Willie. New pitcher. Here we go. We got another new pitcher here. Sinker, splitter, curve. He don't have a fastball? This guy doesn't own a, a standard fastball. That is weird. And that is cut on and missed. And that is strike one. You know, this group of hitters just lacking discipline. That's very rare. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game. And it's like running out, Willie. Running out, Willie. Oh, that was a good throw. Sends it to Flores. He gunned that one, didn't he? Digging in, it's the speedy Come on, Tanaka. Put that up in the crowd. Left field. And that one is inside ball one. Signs of movement in the Giants' bullpen. Number 67 up and throwing. Number 28 also getting ready. Foul ball there. No, like, I meant fair, not foul. Putting in the fair crowd way out there. Comes a pitch. Oh, there you go. Come on. Get up. Go, 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 go. Oh, man. I'm looking for at least a, a, a double out of that. You have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Everything was perfect, too, on that. Absolutely perfect. And it's seven on hour behind it. We still that couldn't get it is fouled off. over the center fielder's head. The wind of the pitch. Ah. One fouled off. Down, what are you talking about, Jimmy? Yeah, we're at the top half of the sixth. You've been drinking? Check. Oh! Center. Oh! We almost checked swing to hit. Is that I checked it, check and it, it was a tink. Back here with my pal Singy, bottom of the six. Now it's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. All right, the bush is in. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Logan Bush. As he turns on the rubber, with that good live arm delivers. See the velocity. Big bush on the rubber. Seven with that fastball. On the ground to the left. Sends it across the first. And Estrada is out. Austin Slater stands in. Pitch in for a strike, and it's all one. That's it. To keep the strikes coming, Bush. Just missed. Oh, that's a strike. That's a good pitch. I'm, I'm not, you know, that's a good pitch. Just oh. off that wasn't. That was a terrible pitch. Two and one. I'm not happy with his delivery. I think we may change Bush's delivery. Uh oh, Larson's there. Larson snags it on the run. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those could be a little tricky, especially if the wind swirling around out there. Nah. Wow. Oh, really? All tied up here in the bottom of the six. Your mom likes being all tied up. <laughs> and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing there for San Francisco. <laughs> and we're still knotted at zero. Look at this. 0 for 2, 0 for 2, 0 for 2. No, no, no. Come on, Joe Boo. We're 0 for 2. Number 74. Well, new pitcher is Ryan Walker. And we all know about Here we go. Big boy. Slider sinker curve. Oh, he's only got three. He do not have a straight fastball either. This is weird. Oh! I, I had a power swing on that, but I went low and he stayed high because, like, he don't have a fastball, so you figure he'll drop most things low. Turned on, but foul wide of third. And Come on, Drew. Joe Boo, help us out here. Help us out. Give us a big swing, man. Pedro's due. Pedro's not had a good couple games here. You know, he's just not and done much. Oh, ah! Pedro! Down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And there's another strikeout, and there's a 
Cubs are just continuing to pile up. His confidence level. We, we know he don't like them sliders and curves, man. He's just not. He just ain't down with that. And this guy don't even own a fastball, so we know he can't throw it. Jake Taylor. Oh, that's smoked. Only a base hit. Oh, I would have been safe, but I didn't know he was going to throw that nonsense. That hit the bag. He smoked it off the bag. Go ahead, run on base at the play. Derek Metcalf. Come on, Metcalf. Give it a ride. Give it a ride. Ooh. Dude, a two-run homer right now might win it. I mean, it's 0-0 zero to zero in the seventh. Two runs could be all we need. And a pitch. One ball, one strike. I want to see that no-doubt look. I want to see Metcalf just looking at the ball fly up there. Hit that freaking flea market over there. I wonder where that is. Ooh. Good pitch. Good pitch. Okay. Stayed upstairs even with the sinker. Because you don't have a good internet majority. I thought we went over this. Your internet is not the best. Tell you what, sometimes you have to tip your cap. Reina in the box again takes the strike. Come on, Reina. Base hit. Two outs. No, that's out. Good pitch. I had to go up, then back down, and I didn't make it back down. Because I thought he was putting it up there. Popped up. Flores settles underneath it. And that is that. Bottom of the seventh, and we've got a pinch hitter to lead it off. Patrick Bailey. He represents the go ahead run. Just off the outside edge. What? You serious? We've had some pretty bad calls this stream. These umpires have, have, have missed some, like, entire ball in the strike zone. Strikes that they're just calling balls. Look at that one. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. That guy should have been out twice. The leadoff single and the go ahead run is aboard. I struck him out two different times. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Throws to second for one. On the first. Boom. That's baseball justice. Great job on the mound, fielding his position and making a good throw to second. Good play by the bush. Perfect throw. Reign of the first. No problem, man. No problem. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Two down, nobody on. Just misses with that one. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to hit the button yet. Shoot. Yeah, that was too much of the plate. I didn't, I didn't, I hit the button as I was trying to move it up. Good cutter. Good cutter. Eighth inning, here we come. Four hits apiece, no run. In the game defensively, Patrick Bailey. He pitched it last half inning, but now he's in a position he's not familiar with at all. Seems like a questionable move here. And now, Mike Larson. Pitch out to short, whips it to first on the run. He whipped it. Bow, 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 bow. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over. Bow, 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 bow. So coming into the game now on defense, Tyler Fitzgerald. He takes over and right. 
Now playing right field. Number 49. So a pinch hitter in a pitcher spot. All right, Tomlinson. Tomlinson. Looking to start something with one gone. Down the line. Opposite fielder. Slater. Oh. The leather on the running. Not only was I think it going foul anyway, he caught it. So the Not a good at bat for Tomlinson. In, that was a good pitch to hit, too. And a good oh, the ball. You better call that a ball through the crap you've been pulling. Ah, good pitch. That swing, it's strike one. one good pitch. Might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just did it to me again. Really late right now. I'm not looking like it's that's what he's doing. Two outs. Ripped on a line. And we ripped that no, right through. Here puts it away for the. Not good. And that is that. Joey Cantillo gets the ball now, and they felt Joey. it was time to bring on a left-handed wow. reliever from the pen with a lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked what the opposing team did that to me. Here's the catcher, Blake Sable. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And he takes one right okay. black, and it's all two. Okay. And he deals. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Left-hand hitter waits. Ah. Here, third base Jay, where are you going, Dorn? <laughs> Moving under this one. What a way. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. The pitch. Just oh, missed. Out. Uh oh. Fly ball to right center. Hayes racing into the alley. Oh, what happened? Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he'll make it up to second as he advances. What happened? Why did he not catch it? Is that an error? He was full steam running? Yeah. He just dropped it. It hit his glove and he didn't catch it, I think. Oh, man. Uh, that, that could be like uh, uh, we lose the game because of its situation. It jammed him. Oh, um, look. All right, we got we got to get ourselves out of this one now. It is not a ball. It's a strike. The lefty to one on. Yeah. No swing and a miss, and that's strike one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. High fly. Oh, we're all right right there. We're okay right here. He's got it. Two away down. All right, that's two down. We're, we, we should be all right. We'll let him hit nothing into the gap. Casey Schmidt looking for a two out hit with a runner in scoring. Ah, Schmidt. And fires in a fastball at 95. Jack Swain. The strike. Oh, that's a bunch of bull, Schmidt. Right there. He swung the bat. No. Base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He will score and they take the lead. One nothing. One of the hardest things to do in the game to stay mentally and physically Total ready. Schmidt. And he came through for his right there. Up and in. And that is ball one. And that one missing low. That puts the pressure on us because that we got one inning to deal to, to get to that run now because it's the eighth inning. Rips one to right. Drops into the glove. They scored because Pedro made an error. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now one nothing. He should have never been on base. Now into the ball game on defense. Here we go. This is it. And man, they're asking a lot of him to play completely out of position. We got two, three, and four. Pedro can make up for his error. He's up third. This guy's got everything. Here comes a pitch. He walks through that one for strike one. And that he should have made that catch. You just you don't normally see that kind of an error. It hit his glove and just fell. 
Here comes the old one. Come on, get there. We go. Good hit. Good hit. I, I gotta say, I'm 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 pretty impressed with the, the uh, how clutch we are. At the at the end of the games, we we've we've been coming through. You know, we've been we don't give up. That's for sure. There's no quit in the Indians. The first base was playing the first base line. All right, Dorn. Step into one. <laughs> Lean into one, Dorn. We'll close. take that outside. It's one and oh. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run. Shoot. Run and hit. In the air, right side. Makes the I was waiting for that air on him. All right, here we go. Pedro needs to make up for his error. He's, he's batting 208, three home runs, and nine RBIs. Just three three home runs is unacceptable. It needs to be higher. Ooh. 100 miles an hour. amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. 100 miles an hour again. It's tough to react. miles an hour. He's hitting triple digits on me. Oh! Pedro no hit the curveball. Joe Boo no help. Joe Boo no help. This is it. We're down to Jake. Last out of the game here. We got a runner on first. We could go. We could go. We could lose the game. We could tie it. Or we could take the lead. Like all in one swing. That's how crazy baseball is. Good pitch. Good pitch. Man, that's tough. He's throwing triple digits on me. That was a good pitch. Good strike. Oh, this is it. 0-2. Not good. One strike away. Oh, we stayed alive. That was a strikeout right there. We don't swing. Look at that. Fastball, 99 mile an hour. And a pitch. Oh, he went high on us. I mean, 100 mile an hour up there, I, I ain't going to catch it. It's just I'm not going to catch it. I can't do it. Wall to the Giants. Boom. Bummer. Not how we wanted to end this, but. One to nothing. Look at Pedro. That's that's funny. It's, it's ironic, you know. I mean, that's how in the show, that's what he can't hit. <laughs> the movie, I mean. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Oh, that was Nin on the mound. Remember him? That's that's their '90s legend, Rob Nin. I forgot about him. Yeah, he shut us freaking down at the end. That's why he was throwing a hundred on me. That was that was Rob Nin. Tanaka went two for four. Only five hits a piece. That one error, but that error is why we lost. So that was not an earned run. That was an unearned run. Which means technically neither team gave up a run at this game. You know, San Fran got an unearned run. Yeah, definitely. If you do, I went to what with that comment? I can't see. The heart is over, whatever word that is. I. Oh, the lightning. Or somebody will randomly hit their throw their bat by mistake. All right, I guess that's it, guys. Well, got I know we got a couple things we got to do here, but um, low. That was a pitcher's duel. I will be glad to play the regular season, and that we don't have to see a new pitcher every inning. That stuff sucks. You can't get any rhythm going. Uh, oh, dang, we would have been playing. Shoop. Shoop would have been on the mound at the, at the White Sox, too. Jack Parkman, Frank Thomas, Baines and Reigns. So, standings 14 and 8.
The Mariners, the White Sox, and the Rangers are all 15 and 8. We, we have, that's a good spring training. Uh, 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 uh. Excuse me. Padres 12 and 8. On the other league over there, it's the, um, the yeah, the Yankees ended up. Wow, the Yankees really pulled up. It was the Astros. They they must have dropped. Oh, yeah, look at the Astros. Look at their streak. L5. Because I'm like, they were like 15 and, and 4. And uh, they lost five straight. I wonder what happened to the Astros there. The Yankees really, really picked things up. 20 and 4. They're the only team to have. Cactus League sucks. Dude, grapefruit's where you want to be. <laughs> it's got the winners in it over there. We got. Um, How do I? Let me see something real quick. Contract extensions. I don't care about contracts, but I do care about. <sighs> getting everything right. I just play the games, Pony Boy. I mean, a game like this, I, I'm not going. The only time I will specifically go for a trophy on a game like this would be there's one that you have to win by 26 runs. To, to do that, we'll, we'll play our season. Like, let's say we have every trophy but that one and we our season's over. I'll put it on rookie mode and put it on an exhibition game and just play home run derby pretty much. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll pick a terrible team and we'll put it on rookie and we'll try to just run the score up because that, that's a that's a, a bad trophy because it, it's not score 26 runs. It's win by or 24, 26 so you could score 26 runs and, and they score three and you don't get the trophy. So other than that trophy, there's no, I don't think there's a single trophy we have to really worry about. I mean, we're about to play a 162-game season. We did get our walk-off home run, though, trophy. And the cool thing about PS5 is it, it records videos. So right there it is. Look, right there it is. There is there's a trophy. Extra innings. Oh, Metcalf. Tink. Walk off. Do your dance. Walked off on the Cubbies. That was, it was, that was a good... Look at that curveball. Boom. Got all of it. Two-run dinger in the 16th. We did that one earlier today. So all these trophies will come, you know. I'm, I'm not really worried about them. Uh, the only trophy that is that one where you get to win by 24 or whatever. That's that's. Uh, I mean, think about that. And look at how we play our games. I mean, if you look at our calendar, have we even scored 10? Four, one, three, five, three, 17 to two. What that felt like? That was a monster. No, we have never even scored 10 runs yet. <laughs> We've scored a seven in Oakland, and went seven against Colorado, seven against Chicago. That's it. That's the best we've done is seven runs. So I don't know what kind of game we're going to have to play to get 24-run win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a point break due. This stuff's good, though, man. The, the other one I didn't even try. You know, every year for the past, what, five years? They come out with the new, you know, the, the summer Baja Blast flavors, and that's what these are. And uh, they've all been pretty good. But so this one is Point Break Punch, which is a fruit punch stew. And the other one is a mango lemonade. And I'm just, I'm not doing that. I didn't even try it because I'm sick and tired of mango. Everything's mango every summer. Mango this and mango that. Mango margarita, mango Mountain Dew, mango. They even had a mango one last year. And I'm like, I'm just tired of mango. So I didn't even pick that one up. The best Baja Blast they ever did was Flash. The the Baja Blast Flash, like I think that was 2022, maybe two years ago, and it was uh, pineapple coconut. Oh, dude, that one was killer. Like that's one I would. They should just put on. That should be a constant. It was really good. All right, guys. Well, I think this is it. So we'll we'll, we'll 
Sim to regular season, but I wanted to... How do I set the roster? Like, I guess I can't change... Well, I guess I have this. Hang on. That's the MLB roster. But you know it's going to move it from, from 40 to 26. I guess it does it on its own. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I need to do. I'm just making sure. I don't want to screw anything up here. And, and some of it's not even true. Yeah, that's not even, like, accurate. Check the company to look good here. <sighs> Ugh, yeah, excuse me. Sammy Sosa, 431. Hey, look, we got an Indians up there. That's cool. We got Reina, Jose Reina, number three, 378. I'm going to check the statistics since we're, we're done. Do we have another one? And then Doran at 19th at 300 even. So we, we had a top three hitter. Oh, that's only Cactus. Can I see the whole thing? Why can't I see the whole thing? Uh, Reese McGuire. Jeff Bagwell. Kyle Tucker. Derek Jeter. So really, like, that's this is not accurate. But, okay, whatever. Hits. Paul O'Neill for the Reds. He, dude, he got half those hits against us. <laughs> Jose Reina, 28 hits. Yeah, Reina was uh, pretty good. Roger Dorn's down there tied at seventh. At bats, Willie Mays Hayes has taken the most at bats. <sighs> Larson and Reina. Both with eight doubles. And that's my eight and nine hitters. That's pretty funny. Eight and nine. Killed the ball. Triples. I feel like we had one. I feel like we had one. Maybe. No, we didn't. I guess not. Homer's Frank Thomas. Dude, he hit 12. Derek Metcalf at eight. We were tied for second. That's pretty good. I feel like we might have had a six. Did we have a somebody had six? What what did Taylor end up with? I guess not. No, I guess not. I was wrong. He was the one had three. Yeah, he had, that was uh, yeah. But uh, look at that. Let's go to Cactus. Bagwell. What's up with McGuire? Were they just not pitching to him? There he is. He had six. All he needs to do is like swing the bat with one arm and he can hit a home run. Dude, his, his, uh, his, uh, we ain't done yet, Jimmy. Boy, don't you sass me at the end of my stream. Um, Mark McGuire's forearms was like as big as my ham hamstrings back in the day. RBIs, Sammy at 25, Sosa, Chicago reigns supreme. <sighs> Can't quit yawning now. Runs, Sammy, and Dansby Swan. Dang, the, the Cubbies had the top two. That's 40 runs between two guys. That's like half our team. And Edgar and J.P. Crawford. I didn't see Griffey on any of this stuff. That's... Surprising. Willie Mays Hayes. There we go. Tied for first. That's good. We actually had a, uh, someone tied for first, at least in something, and it was Willie with the stolen bases. And that's key. We just need to be sure we're getting Willie on base. That's, that's the important thing. Walks. Ricky Henderson. Who is walking Ricky Henderson? One of the best base stealers in the history of the league, and you're walking him? 
14 times? No. You gotta pitch to him. Oh, here's pitching. I don't know why I can't quit yawning. Oh, look, we led the league in saves. Dalton. What about the other one? Yeah, we did. Dalton, that's actually a clear out win for us. We had the best. Yeah, he went 10 for 10. He did not make any mistakes. Randy Johnson with the 129. And Kevin Shoop. Look at Shoop. stuff all right i think we're gonna do it i think we're going to uh i think we're gonna go ahead and sim to regular season are you sure you want to sim to regular season doing so will simulate any games not yet played yes let's see what we got yep i was right there's oakland so we're we're playing the it's not going to be shoop though on the mound It's going to be, uh, we need to fix our roster. Or our pitching rotation. Rick Vaughn. Eddie Harris. Shoop. Friedman. Yeah, this is where we got to make our, our, our changes. We need to get Lindbergh up. So let's bring up, I don't like that Gaddis guy, and he's a 68 overall, which is pretty butt crack. So what we're going to do, this is what I was talking about we had to do. His name was, uh, what was his name again? Right there. Lindbergh made it. Now let's check out our... No, you, you. they said we've just called up. No, I called up. You didn't do anything. I did it. Game. I'll be good. So there is the rotation. Von Harris, Shoop, Mitchell Friedman, never heard of that guy, <laughs> and Alex Lindbergh. And then we got the Bush right there, Espino, right there, Eli Morgan, Ty Brown, Adam Scott, Great Scott, Trevor Steven, and Jesse Dalton. Eighty nine, ninety four, ninety four, eighty five, sixty six, then eighty four, seventy, sixty five, fifty seven, fifty four, seventy one, eighty. So like we're not, you know, we got some good ones and we got some really bad. We got two fifties in there. A fifty four overall is just absolute butt crack. Let's check our lineups. Let's make sure. Hayes, Tanaka, Serrano, Rube, 
at catcher. Third, no, that they. Why did you change this lineup? I didn't tell. Why would you change it? Stupid game. They didn't do this in any way, shape, or form the way I had it at all. Not even close. No, sir. Nay. That is not my lineup. That's my lineup. Hayes, Tanaka, Dorn, Serana, Jake, Rube, Metcalf, Reyna, Larson. Did their overalls change? I feel like their overalls have changed. It must... You know what? It did, it did talk about training. All right, Hayes, Tanaka, Dorn, Pedro, Baker, McCaffrey, you know, Larson, Vaughn. Yes, because that's a no DH. That's when we play at the National League. Hayes, Tanaka, Serrano, Rube. Yeah, Hayes, Tanaka, Dorn, Serrano, Baker, McCaffrey. I knew something was wrong. Yeah, I think that's all good. We're going to look at the schedule here in just a second. I'll make sure. Yeah, see, there's training, so that must be getting... And you can change this stuff, and I put it where I wanted it. Because it works on certain attributes, and I guess, you know, obviously that would change their overall once they get better at stuff. Hmm. Indians White Sox Twins, Royals, Tigers. So in our division, we have one classic stadium. And that's the Twins. They're playing in uh, the old Metro Dome there. Which is a pretty cool dome one. If you got to play in a dome, that's one of the better ones to play in. Royals, Tigers. I really wish they had old Detroit Stadium. That was a neat one. I talked about that a couple times. The way that was designed. I wish we could try to... Hit a home run on the roof. We go ahead and save this right now. I don't know what that stuff is. I don't know what it means. Set my... It says set my... Tree. I thought it said set my block. Let's 
So our very first game is Vaughn at... And here we go. Yep, see? This is coming up March 28th, which is in three days. So we're going to start the season just as they are. So it is pretty neat because we're going to be playing the Clean the Guardian schedule. <sighs> <sighs> Excuse me. And all the rest of the teams are playing their real schedules this year. So as we play these games, you know, they'll be playing them in real life, too. We'll be pretty, pretty close to it. So we got three games at Oakland. I'm telling you, I, I, I thought Oakland and Seattle would be the best teams in the American League. I, I guess Chicago White Sox is going to be really good, too. And you always got to call the Yankees. But I'm telling you, Oakland, Ricky Henderson and Mark McGuire. And then they got Eckersley cleaning up. That's, this is going to be a tough team. Right here. This is going to be an interesting and where the way teams start. And then we do look at the road stand that Cleveland's got. And this is real life, too. One, two, three, four. We got four. Oh, man. I didn't realize. We got four games at Oakland. And then we go to Seattle. What the crap? The two toughest, the, the potential one and two teams. We got to go. We got to start the season off seven straight. So we're going to be tested immediately. So look at that. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is steak still here? Dude, Cleveland's got to go ten road games before they get their home opener, and it's to the division rival White Sox of all teams on, on April 8th. What a, what a way to start the season. I'd, if, I, if I was a betting man, I'd put money that that's the longest road streak to start the season for any team in Major League Baseball. All 30, 30 teams there. I bet nobody else has to go 10 games before they're allowed to play a home game. That's pretty crazy. So we're on the road, man. So our first few streams, we're not even going to get to see Cleveland Municipal Stadium. The old, the old stadium that I, I made. Oh, I mean, I got it from the vault, and then I tweaked it a little bit. But, you know what I mean? Like the one I made. I, I might be able to show it to you guys, though, right now, just so you can see it. Um, But, like, that's crazy. Four games at Oakland. I think when I do the streams, it, it'll, it'll depend. <laughs> You're not sure you can do it? Yeah, dude. They might come. If you think so, if you think about it. If they can just go five and five, that's great. If you can just pull, if you can just come, if you can start your home opener at 500, you, you, you've done something because it, it's tough to plan. And there's no day, well, there's not a day off until after the seventh game. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's weird. Hold on. That's really... Hold on. What? Is that right? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Ever. So they start a series. They get a day off. And they go back to the same series. So they're going to get a day off. In Minnesota. They're going to have to stay there. In a hotel. Dude, that's weird. I, maybe they've been doing that recently, and I've not paid attention because I don't watch baseball like I used to. Like you know, I don't sit there and like follow it every single day. That's super weird. See, almost always, 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 you're you're you only get usually two or three off days a week or a month. Look, it's between a series because they'll get done with the White Sox, they'll take a break, and then they'll play the next series. Right, right here, you're done with the A's, you take a break. You play the Red Sox right here. You you're done with the Braves. You take a break. They they st they play a game against Minnesota. They have a break and then they play two more at Minnesota. That's really weird. I don't ever remember seeing that on anybody's schedule. They do any more of that? See, look, and they don't ever do it again. These three off days this month, it separates out series. And if you notice it, it changes colors too, which means they're away. Then they get an off day and they go home. I mean, they're going to go home after this game, but I'm saying, like, you know, it, and the same thing here, a home game, they get an off day, then they go to L.A. 
Let's see if that happens again. Reds. Marlins. No, that ain't going to happen. That's so weird. Home run. Hey, look, home run derby. And all, we get to play the home run derby in the all-star game. That's going to be fun. A lot of Detroit. Holy crap. Look at all the Detroit in July. Four away games in Detroit. Then four home games. And then two more away games. And probably, no, that is it. Okay. So we're going to play Detroit ten times in July. Which means Cleveland is really playing Detroit 10 times in July this year. That's a lot of Detroit. There's the Yankees. There's them Cubbies. But we're home. But remember, any game that we're away that's a National League team, like this Milwaukee here, our pitcher's going to hit. How do we end the schedule? So, okay. Oh, pfft. of all teams. Houston. And Cincinnati. So, the, it's at least it's home. We'll, we'll, we'll finish the season with five home games. So, they made us start with ten away, but they let us end with five home. I guess that's something. So, the, yeah, the beginning of this season is going to be rough. So, what I was about to say there is, uh, no, hey, Natalie. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. We're, we're, we're about, we're wrapping up. That's so funny. Everybody fell asleep on me tonight, man. Baseball will do that to you. <laughs> My soothing voice in, in baseball. Um, uh, dude left because he, he fell asleep, went to bed. Jimmy literally dozed off and came back and said he slept. You just got them talking about you, you sleeping. I mean, everybody just goes to sleep on me like I'm freaking vanilla me melatonin. But yeah, dude, steak, that's weird, man. I've I've never seen. I mean, I have been watching baseball since the 80s. And I was, I, you know, became a, a preteen and teenager in the 90s. And I really watched baseball. Like, I mean, I kept track of statistics. I knew everything. And I have never, ever, ever, ever seen a team get a bye week in the middle of a series. Now, I mean, the All-Star break, maybe. Like, I think I might have remembered a time the Reds had, like, like the Reds played, like, Cubs-Cubs break and then Cubs-Cubs or something like that. You know what I mean? Because the break always crushes you in the middle, but that doesn't count. This is a big, this is a big... I've just never seen a team go, especially go somewhere. Well, I guess it's always got to be somebody's got to be the away team, right? So I guess it, it could have been Minnesota if it was us. But I've just never seen a team get a break in the middle of a series. That's weird. And it's even it's even a three game series, not even four. It's not like game game break game game. It's it's game break game game. That's just odd. It's like why not? Why even? I don't know. I guess the way the schedules just happened that they had to give you a break, and that's how it happened. This is supposed to be 100% accurate to the real schedules, though, you know. But this is cool about our first month, so check this out. Four games at Oakland. So that's going to be old Oakland Stadium, right? We got three games at Seattle. That's the old Kingdom. Because like I said, any stadium that is in the game, I associated it with the, the 80s, 90s team. So old... Oakland there we got going to the kingdom right now we're gonna, then we're going to go to that that Humphrey H whatever metro dome so at least we're hitting the classic stadiums and then we're going to get to see Fenway Park and every red game is us home at our Cleveland Municipal Stadium which I'll show you guys here in just a second that's that old news created and then um, this game has Old Atlanta on it, so we're going to get to play at Old Atlanta. That's cool. So at least the first month, we actually get in a lot of classic stadiums, some old school stadiums in it. And then we're starting, then we're going at Houston, but it doesn't have the Astrodome, which is kind of a bummer. You, I, you'd think that the Astrodome would be one they would have put in because that's like, then they used to call that like the ninth wonder of the world or something like that. Like the Astrodome was pretty cool. It was the first stadium to have AstroTurf, hence the name. 
So you'd think that they would have got the Astrodome, but nay. They got Old Texas Stadium in here, so we'll get to play at Old Texas the next month there. All right, let me see if I can't show you the stadium. Because there was a thing right here in settings. Nope. There was a thing right here you say stadium assignments. See? That's where I assigned the stadiums. Uh, to the teams. Let me... Did I save this? Let me make sure I've saved this. I don't remember if I did. I, I did. I'm doing it again. I'm better safe than sorry, right? I'm going to do it again. All right, cool. So I think we've got everything squared away. And we've got the roster set, right? I don't, I don't mean roster. I meant to say lineup. Yeah, we got that set. That's all good. Oh, what I do need to do. Hold on, guys. I do need to do something here. Thompson Markley Rhodes Winters. Oh, they said he didn't make the cut. We're bringing him up. We're bringing my boy up. All right, Kyle Manzardo. More like Kyle, you're, you're going to leave, though. So hang on. Yeah, I got to fix that. Kyle. Where's my boy Reese? He earned his. He earned his way. Oh, he ain't even on. The, yeah. Let me find Reese. Where's he at? Boy, they got him way down. Is he on the Class A roster? Did I miss him? Yo, they better not have let him go. Hold on, let me just go all. Actually, he was a right fielder, wasn't he? Let me go right fielders. Oh, Priest. There he is. He's AAA. I must have just missed him. All right, so you, sir, are going to the MLB. Good job. You made it. And then we're going to bring down... Yeah. Sorry, kid. Boop. All right, now let's look at the lineups. Tomlinson, Markley, Rhodes, Winters, Prees, yep. Because he also plays first base. But that guy, I'm telling you, he was uh, pretty good. Okay. I'm just making sure that any of the people that I actually made, he actually played good. Didn't get sent down when we made that change. Wait, what? How is he on there twice? How does that happen? Oh, overall one. He was the one that mistakenly came in. Yeah, see how he's an overall of one? That's bad. I did a bad import. I thought I deleted him off. I guess I couldn't. So that's fine. He's got an overall of one. He's... We can we will change his name, but he'll never amount to anything in life. Um, all 
We'll call him Pedro Sir Crapo. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. Yeah. It, that, that was like, it was an import error. That's why he has an overall of one. Yeah, Pedro Sir Crapo. We'll never see him, though, you know, obviously. So we're all good. That's funny that he, he's still there. <laughs> my head placement. I don't understand what you mean. Why My head placement? You know who has good head placement? Your mom! <laughs> if you mean my camera, I don't know why. The camera is the perfect place. We were actually just talking about that earlier this stream or last stream, about how where I have this camera right now, where this is, is the best it's ever been. Because any game has stuff on the bottom and the right corners now, the, the left and the right. And where I'm at, it allows you to see what's down there. In this game, it's the statistics. And um, and I'm not in the way. Because normally... you. It, if you're in a corner, you're in the way of something like, you know, in skull and bones, your health and all that crap's on the left. And then your, your knots and the way the wind direction is all on the right. And in this game, you, you have statistics and on the right down here is, is your, um, what the player's done two for four, three for five, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. We had to save that cause I did just make some changes there. So, okay. All right, let me show you guys the stadium. So I was able to find Cleveland Municipal Stadium and the vault, and somebody had done a, a excellent job. I did some very minor tweaks to it in Stadium Editor. Um, so we're going to go create Stadium Creator. I should be able to pull this up fairly easily. Yeah, there it is. Cleveland Municipal Stadium. You click on it and load it up. And I'll just I'm just going to give you like a kind of flyby view of it. The one thing, and, and I looked this up. Oh, good. Are we like in the street? Yeah, we're in the stands. Thanks for putting us under the stands. Um, dang. It's, it's weird. So you think, why is it so open? It really is. And, and Steak will confirm. Dude, out there, there ain't crap out there. It's like a, it was like a construction zone, plain cement, and then the river's over there. So they're like when we're playing our games, you got to figure we're down here. You literally see nothing. There's no buildings back there. There is no nothing. So it looks weird, but it truly does not have anything back there. But the one thing I looked up and it's I confirmed it. See this right here? That's the batter's eye. That's not supposed to be there. You cannot delete it. If you make a every every single um. created stadium must have a batter's eye i can change it like if i hold this hold on wait hold on wait did that just say i could delete it because i know i cannot yeah i couldn't do it i think i was on something else because see it's on, it's on modifier but it's not actually i can't see i can't select it and delete it but if I was to like select it like this, I could change what's there. See, but you, but you gotta have a batter's eye. You could put this out there. These are all the different things you can put out there. This stadium creator is really good. So there's a lot of cool stuff. But unfortunately, this stadium didn't have a the batter's eye was those bleachers that nobody ever sat in, right? They they just didn't sell those seats. And it's just, I, I went backward. It's unfortunate that that's not good enough for MLB The Show. I really don't know why they did that. I, I guess they thought people would make weird stuff and play online with them, right? And and then you couldn't see the ball. So they forced the batter's eye. So that's the only thing that shouldn't be there. But I made some tweaks, but check it out. Look at this. Let me Let me go up. I even got the look at the light. Dude, this is dead on Cleveland Stadium, though. Even the color of the seats is correct, right? What they did right there. I don't know if... Uh... 
Yeah, you're still here. And the only other thing, so there's two things that's forced. And the bullpens must be in foul territory. Cleveland Municipal Stadium did not have them over here. I believe they had them, if I'm right, stake. Weren't they over here? Like, weren't they out in the outfield somewhere? I can't remember if they had one on left or not. But this is how the stadium was because you got to figure the Cleveland Browns played here too. So when the baseball season um, was coming to an end, fo- you know, football season starts in September. So the Browns would start playing here on Sundays. And uh, the, the Indians would still, so you would see some of the football field out here. And the football field would have, like, you know, the Dolphins and the Marlins shared that. There were, Oakland did with the Raiders and uh, uh, the A's. And, and the Browns and the Indians did too. So the, the bullpens right there must be on the, but it's, it's, that's the two things that the creator forces you to do. Is it forces the bullpens on the side and it forces the batter's eye. Other than that, dude, this stadium is beautiful. Like, I mean, it looks just like it looked back then. I mean, right down. I, I even changed the patterns to match because I, I, I don't think it had. I got real photos on my phone there from the, the Cleveland Stadium. And I got the right grass pattern <laughs> to make sure. I changed the dirt. Like, I did a lot of stuff to make sure it matched as best it could. Uh, wall color and all that, seat color, that right there. I want to hit some upper decks. Uh, I can't wait to hit some upper decks. So Pedro better be dropping them up here. I'm not sure how far that is, but that's it, it's going to be a 450-plus shot. But the way that that separates and stuff is really good because that's really what happened in the stadium. I just wish we could get rid of that. That's even Coke right there. That Coke sign's even legitimate. There was a Coca-Cola sign there. Marble or Country. That's created. That's what it said right there. Uh, there was another advertisement, so this, like, MLB thing's there. But this is pretty good. <laughs> I gave your mom an upper deck. But this is Cleveland Stadium. I'm looking forward to playing here. But as you can see it as we back up, you know, really cool. Neat little stadium there. Now, back here, we could probably put some buildings and stuff if we want. I don't know how much it'll matter. Like, I'm, we could play... What is this over there? That's something. Um, but over here, it really was just plain cement. And and we've here's the thing. We're 98% used up on our space. To make this stadium as cool as it was and as accurate, we used up 98% of our space. I don't know if you can even put any buildings. Let's say... Um, Look, you can say, you can start putting buildings and stuff out here. You can make streets. Pretty cool, huh? I think there's a way to say, hold on. The problem is, hold on, how did I do that? I, I've only messed with this one time. Oh, wheel. If you go wheel and you go like here, you can go properties, field, scenery. So if you change the scenery, you can say cement. Concrete, dirt, frosted grass. I don't know grass. So you can change how things look, see? So we had cement. I knew, but you can start putting... Oh, we, we went Grand Canyons. We went a city back there. We want uh, grass. We're, we're in freaking Nassau. We could be real pirates. <laughs> Tropical urban. You know, get that stuff out there. So you can kind of set some specific backgrounds. But the problem... Uh, and I can't look. Hold on. The problem is it does it all the way around. So if I was to go back um, and do that again. Uh, my bad. Sorry. This, this is a weird one to get used to. Um, see, it does it all the way around. Medium city. We could put a large city. But it didn't have that. It really didn't. If you, if you was to look up Cleveland Municipal Stadium... Dude, it is just freaking, there's the coastline. That's kind of cool. It's got nothing happening out there. It's literally cement. It just, it looks like that's not right, but it is. So that's how we will have it. And we'll never be looking behind us. See, like we could try to fool around and put some cool stuff back there, like buildings, but why? Because we're never going to see it. You know what I mean? Like everything we do is in here. We're never going to see what's back there. You know, it's just it's just not going to happen. So, yeah, not a big deal. 
But uh, yeah, it's a really cool stadium. It's a, it's a throwback, obviously, and it looks. I think they used this stadium from. Oh man, what was it? I like to say it was built in the '30s, and they used it until the '90s. That's when they they built Jacobs Field, which is now Progressive Field, in like '93, '94, '95, something like that, '94. So this stadium was the Indians' home pretty much their entire life until the, the early, early 90s there. Oh, you ain't kidding, Majority. If Super Mega Baseball gave us something like that, oh, man, the Dongs would have an amazing, like, tropical... I would have, like, water out there. Like, you can put waterfalls and stuff here. Like, seriously, like, right now. Like, even for the batter's eye. Like, look, watch. Let's go modifier. Or let's go this. Um... Look at that. And, and there's stadiums you can download. Other people, you can make the Sandlot from there. Look at this freaking rusty crap. But there's very specific see things that you can put. This is just a batter's eye. But I, f I feel like one of them was a waterfall. I could have been wrong. Yeah, right there. Look. A Zen waterfall. You see the water moving up there and you hit the ball out there in it. But this is just a batter's eye. So if I back out. You can just start putting pieces down. I can't. I don't want to break the stadium. I guess I could just make sure I don't save. But um, you could go like right there and hit it and say, uh, "Well, that's kind of underneath the ground." Let me. Hold on. See, I can move stuff around. I'm gonna go back. I don't want to. That's grass. Maybe if I pretend like. Oh, it's in a group. That's why it's being weird. See how you can turn it? These things are grouped together. It takes a long time to build this crap. I can tell you that, especially when you're not familiar with it. Like I'm not, I'm not familiar with the, the buttons because I didn't spend enough time. Like the logo editor, I got that down. You know what I'm saying? But this, I do not. Like I'm not down on this. Where's the thing to bring in a brand new prop? I'm, I'm not sure. You can oh yeah, you can switch it between day and night also. See, so you can see what it's going to look like during night. Really neat. Okay, all right. Anyway. You know, I'm trying to do one simple thing here. Okay. So you can get in here, so you're wearing the stands, but then it's got signs. So you can put different stuff out there. Car, we can put, we can just make a road. Just, just round right through the middle of the crowd. Well, the, the, the attendance will depend on how we play. 
So can we pack the seats? I don't know. Probably. Hopefully. <laughs> I hope we can pack the seats. If you suck, they don't show up to your games. If you play well, then they'll show up. Oh, I was pretty good. I was right on at 31 to 95. I almost nailed that. Um, empty, look, we could put a barking garage right there. So it's pretty cool what you can do. Like you can do, like I said, you can make a lot of cool stuff. Like it's got all kinds of neat stuff that you could just do. Um, obviously some of it doesn't make any sense. Uh, for what we're trying to do here. But, you know, you could do, look, put lights, letters. Oh, is that a hot chick? Claude statue. Gorilla. Got a big freaking gorilla out there. But a lot of really neat stuff you can do. Oh, Lord. We won't be having pride flags. See, that was actually what's already right back there. What the? A whale statue. That's... Dude, the dongs could have that one. A big old... A big... More seats. Furnishings. It might be neat to foliage, put trees. See, there's so much stuff you can do. Just imagine, I'm doing it right in the middle of this thing too. Just so you guys can get the idea of, of how cool you can make this stuff though. You gotta have time on your hands. Dino's cave, and then you could put a lot of really cool, whoa, aircraft carrier. What what in the world? We just dropped an air we're on what happened? We just dropped an aircraft carrier on everybody. Like the freaking Marvel shield thing just fell. Oh well you know what? This is a commemorate uh this is uh commemoration nine eleven day. <laughs> it's not too soon. It is not too soon for that. <laughs> Looks like Abdul Hassan Huran Hassoum Hassan was the pilot. <laughs> Antenna. What in the Aqua Arena? Whoa, that's crazy. See, but you could put this stuff and I could, you know, mess with it to where we're like hitting home runs in it and stuff. Really neat. Whoa, this rock. We could just put rocks out there. Baseball kid zone. Oh, I would like to hit kids. I would definitely like to leave it to, to hit kids out there. You know what would be cool? They wouldn't give it to us. The only thing I was thinking about making that they don't have remember they have the little TP out in left center in the movie now they didn't have that I don't believe in the real state because well the first movie was filmed in Milwaukee's Milwaukee County Stadium the second movie was filmed at Camden Yards in Baltimore neither movie was filmed in this stadium but they pretended to be in it right now I mean because like the real Indians was in the stadium the movie pretended to be in it it showed scenes of the stadium but they actually filmed the real scenes in Milwaukee and then Baltimore. Uh, but they put the TP about right here. Now, they're not a cargo ship. So it would be cool to... What is a coaster? Oh, look, it's got an active roller coaster. That's cool. I didn't see this one. 
Let me go out. Let me, let me, how do I zoom out? Well, I can't because I got it out as a prop. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Because we could build around that. Which is really neat. So they, they've done some some really good stuff. They made and we're gonna make sure we don't save any of this because I've kind of broke it right now. I don't know what this Dino is. We could put a drawbridge just going right through the stadium. That makes total sense. Oh, a drop tower, man. Those things suck. That's scary. Those are scary right there. That make you pee your pants. A dump truck. There's a dump truck. But see, like, you can just place it. Like, let me just put, you know, we, we, we're going to just move around out here. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll drop. We got... <laughs> Drunk. Here's, here, here's, here's, a, here's a normal city in America. Mm, okay. Here's Jimmy looking out his window in New Orleans. <laughs> Jimmy on Discord. That cray. They crash into the Cleveland sign. Paramedics on site. I mean, stick it out halfway. Now, now we got a New Orleans city. <laughs> But you can make some cool stuff. Uh, since I'm trying to make it, <laughs> since I'm trying to make this authentic, I didn't want to uh, do anything that shouldn't be there, you know. Oh, look how, see how cool it would be to drop this out there? Like we could, look. So when we're playing our games now, we could have, a Ferris wheel going. Isn't that cool? I mean, like, this is like you can see it for what it would look like from there, like while we're batting. We'd have the Ferris wheel going. Pretty cool. Potentially hit a home run and hit a child getting on and off of the Ferris wheel there. Very neat. Now, I don't know. That might be way, 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 way too far. Yeah, that's probably too far. I don't know, dude. Steak, has anybody ever hit a home run out of Cleveland? I I'm sure they have, right? That's not too far. That's probably... That might be like a 500-footer, though. You might have to hit the ball 500 feet to get out. I might do a little research my on my own, like, you know, before Thursday, and we'll talk about it. I'm, I'm curious if anybody has ever hit a home run out of the stadium. Clearly, or on the roof, that would be cool too, man. Hitting them up there, but here's the the problem with that is you got to have serious height before it gets there. Here, you just got to get it over the wall. There, you got to have it way high. But you know, you could do it right down the fa the fair pole line. So if yeah, you hit it there, and it's uh. I can't see what I'm doing. A little fishing boat. Flying dino ride. Yo, you could put a football stadium. Oh, look at this. You could hit a home run from a baseball stadium into a football stadium. Okay, oh, that, well, that's St. Louis. That's interesting. That they, they put, whoops, I messed up. Oh, there we go. Giant glove. That's a fountain. Why am we so far back? Hall of Fame court, helicopter flying. Do, 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 do. Oh, 
It's actually moving. Oh, cool. Easter? Like the bunny rabbit? Because I don't think he played baseball. You said nine, Easter. That's a guy's, that's an interesting name, Easter. Stake said Jesus rose from the grave and hit a home run at Cleveland Municipal Stadium. <laughs> What was the first? That that's some Bible trivia I wasn't aware of. What's the first thing Jesus did on Easter? I tell you what, he had a four hundred seventy-seven foot dinger in the upper deck. Is what he did. <laughs> he, <laughs> he moved he moved the rock, and he caught a shot. <laughs> and he dropped the freaking bomb. See, Satan, Satan had his money against the Indians. Bad moves, devil. <laughs> Liquid hot magma. Dude, you could make a sweet stadium. You know, like you can make something with, with tropical, with an ocean and some lakes and rivers and some boats and like... L like you could all kind of lazy river. Look at the lazy river. Just a nice little lazy river. Concourse. Oh, this is just like building. See, they didn't give us a, a, a teepee. Of course they didn't because that's bad. Aloha Joe's. We've been playing that the whole time. See, if, if they would have just gave me anything that looked like a little teepee, I would have tried. You know what? I wonder if I could build one out of just... I don't think I'm good enough to build one out of just plain old chicken kebabs, chili dogs. We could put like a chili dog up on top of the stadium for like no reason. Yeah, it would be really cool to have... Kind of a stand, something that I could have done, even if they didn't mean for it to be a TP, but me like because you can modify things when you get them in, like when you draw. That's neat. I like that dino shell, that looks like a tiki hut. I'm just going real quick here. If it would have looked, if, if they would have just gave me a triangular building, whoa, what was that? A steakhouse. See, that's neat. You could roll that right up. Midwest Plaza, nachos and hot dogs. I don't know why I'm so far away. Uh, yeah, well, see, it's red because you can't put it there, but you could put it right here. A napkin station? Yeah, buildings. That was the Hall of Justice here. Batman and Superman. Oh, look at that. A cliffside Dracula's freaking castle. A coastal... A coastal condo. It's the only way I have my condos. So really cool stuff. Like, I mean, there's the options are really... Man, if Super Mega had this, guys, we, we would make such a cool stadium for the Megalodongs. I'm just holding the button now. Of course, we're not getting any kind of triangle. Got a church, wildlife, holy crap! Oh, no, that's just nonsense right here. S what? What am I looking at? Is 
It's just so you can like milk. I mean, they 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 kind of went above and beyond though with, with the actual options. We just can't do anything with a classic feel. So see, this is the stands. I don't think there's any way I can make a TP. Because even if you look at what they give you, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I can. Well, like what I'm thinking is, what if I was to do something like... Let me just put that there. Now let me... Oh. I want to zoom in. I want to zoom in. I forget how to zoom in. There we go. Like, get something that's kind of triangular like this, right? And is there any way to put... See, I can't, like, build off of it, I don't think. I'm going to go three. I've never seen these before. But see how you have to select some preset stuff? And see what these people had done with the signs. They, they they got the right size, and that the Coke is actually correct. Coca Cola was the sign there. Like if you guys right now was to Google Cleveland Municipal Stadium, you're gonna see a Coca Cola sign right there. You're gonna see Marble County right there. You're gonna see that you know another sign like that right there to advertise different stuff. Um, I mean, in a way, you know what would have been cool. If we could have got just the tip of that coming up through the stands, you know what I'm saying? And if there was a way to put some blocks on it, like, that might have worked. Like, if I could have shrink that down to get the TP out there, I just don't, I'm not good enough at this yet. But that's pretty close. What's this? These are scoreboards, which is not going to be right. Roadways, no. Lights, no. Lettering. Could I not put Coca-Cola right here? Hold on. Why, why did they not put Coca-Cola? I could put... I guess we can make a funny sign, maybe. But... Lots of different lettering, it looks like, that we can do here. Yeah, it's a, it's a shame. You know, it's a shame. They got pride flags, but not a TP. You know, some of these some of these would get really close. I just don't know. I can't take like I can't take a panel. You know what I mean? And just go like build it. That's what I can't do. <laughs> put a sign that says, yeah, yeah, TP here. Yeah, I'll put a sign, just put that little triangle there and put a sign that says, non-woke TP. <laughs> Original TP. Bamboo. Hold on here, hold on here. We might get something out of this. Hold on. If I could just get... I'm telling you, if I could get the basic shapes, I might be able to mold something. What was that? A metal trestle? It's not tall enough, but I could put more than one. I took that out right there, them stadium stands. Orange circle table. Power grid. Yeah. To where we can get like the top of a a tree that was oh a pine tree. 
You know how pine trees look? That would look like a TP. Can we get a pine tree in here one time? What was that? A ge Your mom's got generic ash. G generic popular tall. It needs to be more refined than what these... Hold on, what was that now? That's summer. Hibiscus. Long bush. They said they got that 70s bush. Those are tall palm trees. Get that 70s bush. Oh, there's a pine. It's not tall enough. It's not tall enough. How do I bring it up? It, I need to put it on top. It's, uh, but I don't know if I could snap to it around. I might have to mess around with this, like, when I have more time to do it. I know it's late. It's late now. Now we got potted plants. I'm just thinking if I stick that, and we're back to the, I was able to stick that pine. Where's it at? I thought it was right here. Yeah, the pines are not tall enough. They have. Is there a way to... Is there a way to like... You know what I'm saying? Like, cause that would... I can't rotate it though. I can rotate it this way with R2, L2, see? But I can't start to like change it. Oh, man, if I, if I could take something like this See. This would hold on, what's that looking like? Yeah, no. This this would be the wiener. Oh. If I could I hate how once you get started you can't change your camera angle. Hold on, let's keep looking here. Let me let me take it out here. Like, you have to get your camera right before you start, and that's kind of stupid. Let me get my camera right here. There we go. All right, we should be able to see better now. Now let me select it. Now let me uh, replace it. Fa la bamba. No, where are we at here? Dude, that's so difficult to understand what you're freaking looking at here. I think it was blue and yellow. I'd look at it. If I could find something where it looks like I could figure this out, then I would definitely 
So you're pretty much, it, it has a ton to it. And I mean, it really does have a ton to it, but you're kind of limited to the pre-existing images. You know, you can't really like build your own shapes. <laughs> Oh, but we could put a wagon there, though. Hey, Indians used to rob those from cowboys. A tiki stall? Let's see what that looks like. A tiki house. Oh, that's oh man, that's close. It's too wide. Hold on. Nah, see what I mean? I was trying. I'm trying. Fa la bumba. That's all in the other room right now. By the way. <laughs> Just give me a. Oh, so close. Just give me a point. I'm on a mission now. A sausage stand. What? Ba -bum -ba. Oh, yeah, that's I don't fit right in. Kingly cakes, ain't that you, Jimmy? Ain't them Kingly cake? Ain't that ain't that, that New Orleans cake station there? Kingly cakes? Ooh, information stands close. See, it's it's gotta high, go higher. It's it's gotta have a legitimate point. Or else it's not I'm not gonna be able to work with it here. I might even be able to change the color and everything, but fresh hot dogs large. That's what I'm serving up. Double sided stand. Yeah, we're not gonna get it, guys. We're just I'm, I'm really I really wanted to. Well, I guess we still not went out through all these yet. Oh, I said crab, crabs. I don't want crabs in my stadium. So many shapes, and they made sure, because see, if they would have just gave me some kind of point, I could have put it underneath the stands and have it rising up, you know what I'm saying, and I could have beat the system. Hold on, oh. Hold, what about the church? What about the steeple on the, hold on. Hold on, hold on here. We might, can we bring this low enough? I don't think it's going to be able to go through the ground. Yeah, maybe it can't. Uh oh. Dude, that might do it. We might have just got saved by church. I don't know. We'll have to see how this looks. That's definitely, uh, uh that's not too bad. Let's see if I can't get some paneling on it and change it. That might work. I think the church did it. See, Jesus made things right. <laughs> Jesus unwoke it. We got the church in there. That's about, remember Randy Quaid and, and him? Well, you know, Randy Quaid wasn't in the first movie. Uh, um, it just had the three guys out there. Uh, and, and Bob Euchre called it the reservation. Every time something got handed there, he'd be like, another one off the reservation. And it had that... Um, that's that that looks pretty good even if i can't change it i think we should keep that yeah i, I think i should keep that i thought what, what do you guys think 
that's looking pretty good. I mean, you know, for I know when you get right up on it, but how often are we going to be like looking at it like this, right? We're going to be seeing it from out here. You know, get, get, no, I wish I could take batting BP here. That would be cool to just come here and take some BP. That looks pretty, that looks like a TP. Like, I mean, that's definitely for what we're trying to accomplish. That's actually pretty good. Um, I wish I could turn it blue and yellow. But hold on, let me look. Let me look it up. One second, guys. Let me, let me look it up. Major League. That might be a tough one to look up. I didn't think we'd be doing this tonight, but. Major League. Um, Okay, I actually got a picture of it. Oh, I had it. Hold on. Because it's showing the crowd. Looks like it was... It actually had some, some green... You know, hold on. We might have it on the clip right here. Let me hit this clip. Unbelievable. They're on their feet here, stomping, clapping. Come on, join in wherever you are. Yeah, right there it is. That's it. Yeah, blue. It's got the green on it. Did you guys see it? Hold on. Let me play it again. Let me play it again. Unbelievable. They're it's got like green grandstands holding it up or like, you know, crosses. And then it goes like blue, white, red. Yeah, there it was right there. It goes blue, white, red. So if, if there's any way I could get some color into it, like that would actually, that would be it. Is there any way I can put any kind of color? I don't know if I can or not. Probably not. But I'm going to keep it if we can't get. All right, so hold on. And then in night mode. Oh, that looks even better in night mode. Yeah, night games, and you play most games at night. The only time you get a day game is a businessman special on a Wednesday or Saturdays, right? Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. But most games are going to be played like this, and that looks nice. That really does look really good. Let me get down there on the level. That looks really good. Yeah, and since it's nighttime anyway, look at that. You see the American flag blowing. You see the TP. Yeah, I like that. I like, I like that. I like the way that looks. I don't think there's any way I can change the color. Let me see. Modifier, array group. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. And I'll, I'm not going to be able to build around it. Let me select it. But it's looking pretty good. Swap prop. Oh, good God, that wasn't it. But that right, I'm not going to move it now because I don't want to. Oh, no, I can't see it, though. I, th I think I should probably just leave it like it is. I don't think I'm going to get any better. And if I, if I move it, I'm going to have to replace it. Hmm. That would be too skinny if I did that. That would be too big. Some of these are ridiculous. Is that Roadhouse? Row House. Gee, some of these are massive. Hmm. A public school. Oh, a pier arcade. That would be so cool if we were making like a coastal.
What are we gonna make a war or two? Are we gonna snipe? You got like a war or two sniper up there? See that man, this is excessive. Airport ter terminal. The White Chapel is it. I think that's going to do it. I think that'll do it. I think that'll be the best thing we can do. To, to make it look like we got a TP out there. It looks pretty good at night mode. Oh, I hit save change. I did it, I did it just save it? I hit save changes. Oh, okay, I got it. It's asking me where I want to save it. Yes, we do want to overwrite. I didn't do anything else right. Yeah, okay. Okay, there we go. So we so we just added the TP out there. It's a bummer we couldn't change it to the, to the blue, white, red. You get, get some stripes on it. Maybe I'll uh, play with this a little later. We got a few days left until Thursday. But like I said, our angles are all going to be playing from the, you know, from inside here. Uh, so good stuff though. Feels like the '80s again, yeah. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, man. Like I said, I got the, you know we're playing Skull and Bones and a couple other games, but the the plan for this game is just to play it when I feel like playing baseball. No schedule, you know, nothing specific. Um, you know, I'm usually busy busy on Friday nights and Saturday nights. It depends on you know the chick I'm dating if she's got something going on. Sometimes she goes out of town for work, and we you know we usually go out and do stuff. But if she's not around, then I'll have my my weekends and stuff that for most of the summer should be relatively uh you know free during the weekdays so i'll just be playing on random days and in the evenings uh just for fun so we got so right now we're playing skull and bones you know just for fun during the evenings we're playing we'll be playing this and then uh you know sundays is the the members super mega baseball stream on sundays and then we got uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space coming out in June. We still got Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but you know it just it's it's a little little stale, a little stale. So I'm glad we got that in there, but it, it doesn't. And let me, you know, I guess I didn't. You know what? I guess I could stop it, sir. I guess I could try to really fix this up. Let me grab it. Let me do it the best I can here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Once again, we'll be seeing it from back. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It definitely looks like the, the, the TP. Like I said, really, the only thing is missing its color. Like, if I could have done something where I could have applied some color to it, um, we could have, we could have nailed it, really. I didn't break anything else right. Wish I could get that batter's eye out of there. You're just not allowed. It's just so stupid. I, I don't know. I mean, I know why they force it. But you know what they could do? Easily. They could easily program this to say, 
if you don't have a batter's eye, it's not allowed for online play because we're not trying to play online anyway. I'm playing a, a freaking single player franchise. You know what I mean? So they could just they can mandate this for any online stadium because you know in Diamond Dynasty mode you got your own team and and you play other people. You know, and they say, hey, if you don't have this, you can't play online. But if you're playing offline, who cares? Why? Why does? Why do they care what I do offline? You know what I'm saying? There's no c- competition in that against other people. Uh, uh, so I, I don't understand the the bullpens here. I don't get that. I don't know why they force that. I get why they st- they force this, but they could easily just turn that off for offline only stadiums. You know, it could be a, a pre prerequisite. That it checks. So, kind of a bummer because it doesn't make sense to, to be there like that, but there's nothing I can do about it. Other than that, pretty looking good. We got Coke out there. Yeah, man, we want to hit it, hit some dingers up on the roof so far so we can hit a 500 footer man we might be able to leave the stadium might be able to hit the state that's pretty cool how we did that actually i'm pretty uh, i'm happy with that i'm actually happy with that believe it or not let me uh save it save changes and uh there we were the question is now, let's go back. Exit. Let's go to the stadium selector and make sure that... Who are those legends? Tom Seaver. Oh, my yes. Franchise, and then we'll go to Stadium Assignments. And I believe, yep, I see it in the background. See it there? There we go. There's our stadium. Cleveland Municipal Stadium. Right there. I can see they actually put it in the picture, so I know we're good to go. So that is where the Cleveland Indians will be playing. Detroit, unfortunately... I I really wish that uh, they had the old Detroit. St- I like the new one. That Comerica Park is pretty cool, actually. But um, I wish they had the old Detroit. I love the, the the layers out of it and trying to hit one up on up on the roof. That would have been fun. Old Comerica. See, look, check it out. We're playing at the old Hubert H. Humphrey Metro Dome. No Astro Dome. Angels there. The old Oakland. You know they've had that forever. Uh, that's funny. It's got a Ricky Henderson thing. He's actually playing. He's on there. The old King Dome with those teal walls. I remember when the King's Dome started falling down. You guys remember that? You remember that stake? It started falling down in the middle of a game. Remember they were actually playing a game and the, the tiles started falling down in the middle of... Uh, I don't remember if it was the Seahawks or the, or the Mariners, but I know a professional game was happening when, and when the ceiling started falling down on them. But that, that'll be a fun one to play in. Old Texas, big fan of that one too. You know what? I feel like Texas got a, a, a new stadium prematurely because they had the old old Texas stadium and then they got this one in like the 90s, right? And then they got, they've already got another one. Most teams don't get three stadiums in 30 years, right? That's like 10 years of stadium. It's like a dollar an hour. Camden Yards is beautiful, so that's that's fine that they've got they've got Camden Yards, Fenway of course. That, now we do have old Yankee Stadium. That's not the new one. That's the actually they do have the old one. It's a little bit different, not too much, but it is the old one. Tampa Bay didn't even exist. Same there. Um, it doesn't have. That's technically Kaminsky, right? That's been changed over. I don't remember. I don't think they got a new stadium. And there's us. And we're going to go back to the National League. The Reds, they don't have Riverfront Stadium. And that's, that's where I grew up. So this is me right here. That's where I live right now. Always have lived. Um, I, I enjoyed 
Riverfront Stadium. You know, I, I wish they would have had that in the game, but they don't. So that's a bummer. You know, I knew all about Riverfront. I've, I've watched so many ball games at that stadium. Great American's a great ballpark. And it's outside and grass and all that, but it would have been neat. <sighs> they don't have the old county stadium. Nope. Uh, nope. Oh, Arizona was, uh, you know, this is the only place I only ever played there. And Dodgers is fine. Uh, they don't have old San Diego. That would have been neat with the palm trees. You could make that. I bet somebody's made that. You know what? I didn't even think, guys. I bet we could get some of these from the vault. Mm, I didn't even think about that. I mean, I got the Indians and then I modified it, but I didn't think about going to get old stadiums. Because I bet somebody's made a really good, I don't know what it was called, but a good old Padre Stadium. The Giants. Now, they got old Atlanta, so there's old Atlanta. They got old Miami, which was Joe Robbie. The Dolphins played there, too, which is a cool stadium. I like how they had the, they used to call that the Teal Monster. Well, obviously, it wasn't near as big as Fenway, but, uh, you know, it, they've got that there. They do have Shea Stadium, so that's an old one. That's pretty cool. Shea Stadium was a, a, a classic stadium. What I liked about it, if you guys remember when they hit a home run, uh, the Mets did, that apple goes up and down and out in center field. They've got that out, out there. Uh, Phillies went too far back. They had that old Forbes field or whatever. The Nationals is technically the Expos back then. Wrigley's been Wrigley. We're, we're back to it. You know what? Is there? Let me see something real, real, real quick. Where was that at again? Oh, I got to leave franchise. That's right. I'm just confused. Let me go create stadium creator. I'm going to hit the vault. What was Detroit Tiger Stadium called? Was it just called Tiger Stadium? Let's see what people's made. The Sandlot. These are popular ones. Oh, wow. Homer Derby. Caesars Palace Park. Mexico City. No, I ain't what I want. Yeah, I don't want those either. Let me go here, and then I'm gonna search. Find. Oop. Tiger. I don't know what that was called. I think it was just called Tiger Stadium. Tiger Stadium. Oh, look, somebody made it. Dude, that looks so good. Let's take a gander. Look at the slights and the stuff they got. That looks really good. I'm impressed. I hit the button on it so we can, like, travel around. Oh, man, I think I've got to download that and then give it to the Tigers. Man, do you know how much time somebody put in all this? Let me go up. Yeah, look at that. That looks really good. I wonder how accurate the dimensions are. Dude, it's even got that little fence above the fence. Remember how Detroit uh, Stadium had the fence above the fence right there? They did a great job. Whoever did this is a huge Tigers fan. Like, seriously, they're a diehard Tigers fan right here because this looks... I remember this stadium very well, and it looks dead on it. I remember we were talking about this too. I believe it was either it was either Cecil Field or, or Big Mac knocked it over. And, or no, you know what I decided on? Reggie Jackson. I feel like Reggie Jackson hit one out of here. Yeah, that's a good job, man. They they nailed this. It says Miller time. Right there. Miller time. Freaking <laughs> nerds. Nerd! And I remember this foul pole, army foul pole, this, uh, that pole right there being there. Yeah, that's looking really good. Really good. So, well, I'm a... 
um, options. Let's try that again. File wow, management, maybe. Can I, how do I download this? Do I just save it? Yeah, wait, because shouldn't this have like, uh, I think they did that just so they didn't put stuff around it. But I would imagine. Detroit's, uh, Detroit's pretty, pretty urban. Guess we could look that up, but still, at any rate. Hmm. Pretty good stuff. Just puts the the, 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 the bunnies are on there. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Well, thanks for hanging out there. Steak at the end. We got uh, other, everybody's being quiet, man. But I know it's not very exciting to sit here and look at Stadium Creator, but I like this kind of stuff because now I know that my season, when we go here and we, we play at these stadiums and stuff, it's going to be really cool. Just like the old 90s stuff. I'll have to look for some more stadiums, too. I'm going to go through now and uh, look these up and see what uh, there's some old stadiums that we might be able to pick up, like Phillies. I might even get Riverfront now. I didn't even think about that. And I, and I don't know how accurate that is because I I went to games there multiple times this summer. Good, good stuff. So, All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Um, I don't think there's anything else I was planning on doing here. A lot after midnight. So, all right, good stuff, guys. Well, me and dude should be on tomorrow um, with Skull and Bones, and we will check out the new challenges. Hope we have Wave 2. If we don't have Wave 2, we definitely have a new week of challenges. So we'll do something. So I'll, I'll catch you guys tomorrow uh, evening on Skull and Bones, and then uh, we'll see what goes on Wednesday. I have no idea. And then Thursday is opening day. So we will, well, we're going to be in Oakland. <laughs> we won't be in Cleveland on stream one because we ain't going to be playing 11 games. I can promise you that. Um, so, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. We'll, we'll jump on here Thursday and, and get the season kicked off and, and, and have some fun with it. So, yeah, thanks for stopping by, man. I hope to see you later on in the season. I mean, it's, it's, a long, it's a long season, so hopefully I can catch you guys. And hopefully we get some more people that are, are you know, Old school fans like we are. Real men. Remember when, when times were good. <laughs> so, all right, guys, y'all, everybody take care. Jimmy, majority, I know these priority sleep, everybody. Um, I'll catch all you guys a little later. I'll talk to you guys on Discord too. So, y'all have a good night, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you tomorrow.